Well, 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 we're all here again. Tis Thursday, the day of the stream. How Here's the question. How many of your games have stopped working as a result of the recent pro, uh, pl promo, promolades and, and parmas? What's it called? Plazas and promenades. Is that what it's called? I've said it so many times today that I that it's lost all meaning. Plazas and promenades. Um, I made a video outlining how to fix it. So that comes out tomorrow, how to fix your mods, how to, you know, some resources, some good mods lists, stuff like that. But everyone, thank you for being here. We're going to work on the spooey today. I want to fix it up with the with the new updated roads for, for all to see. Marlo, thank you for being here. Astronash, David, Tobias, Volk. Let's see. Sage, thanks for being here. <clears throat> John, welcome in. Brian, how are you? Blake, what's good? What's good? Dizkey, welcome in. You had to solve a lot. Yeah, there's a lot to solve. There's, there's a lot to be done. I've got some solutions, though. Huge fanboy, welcome in. Greetings from Sweden. Johan, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Emma, thanks a lot. Welcome in. Seferin, Jakey, Vlog of Tea, Duskmoon, Ace, Lee. There's Marlo. Hi. Qui-Gon, welcome in. Hello there, you could say. JT, welcome in. Everyone, I'm Yumble. I'm very curious about this. There's a mod called Lane Controller. I'm Yumble. I'm curious about mods. How did, how how about you? <laughs> how how are you doing? <laughs> you and welcome in. Renee, thanks for being here. Michael. Approaching midnight? That's okay. Tobias, live your life. Live your life. No worries. Michelle, welcome in. Does Biffa stream? I didn't even know Biffa streamed. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I'm curious about lane controller. I don't know if I'll get it or not, or... I mean, I wish... I do wish that, uh... That there were... That there was more of a write-up on it. It seems like it, it lets you move the, the paths of cars somehow. I'm not totally sure. It looks like it gives you points to drag around, right? It looks like there, there's four points here. You can kind of drag them around to make the road more wiggly. Um, but I don't know. I don't know either way. Seb, welcome in. Vlog of tea. Having a hard time finding inspiration to build realistic community expansions. Renee, that's okay. Take a break. It's always okay to like take a break and chill out and like inspiration will strike you is the thing. They posted a short video of lane controller that you thought was well done. Nice. Very cool. Jared, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Yeah. How do you make good road layouts? 
I think the ace, I think it's about studying Google Maps, personally. Google Earth, Google Maps, like, or just maps in general. Like, look at pictures, look at aerial views of places and see how they're designed and, and, uh, and try to th think of why they're designed that way and play to that. Not that I'm, like, the expert on it necessarily, but look at, look at places that inspire you and try to find, uh, find inspiration in that, right? GeoGuessr addict? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look around. Like, aerial GeoGuessr. Terra Invicta? No, not familiar. Don't look anywhere in the UK? Yeah. Everyone's got feelings about places. <laughs> That's all I can say. Everyone has feelings about places. So I'm going to turn the music, like, way down. Sorry if it's too quiet, but, um... The music has to be quiet. <laughs> That's just how it is. Oh, that's so that's so beautiful. Wow. Look at that. What do the tracks look like? Are they uh which which one? Hold on. It doesn't say which tracks they are specifically. But the uh the supports, the pillars, the viaducts, the arches, beautiful. That's where node spacer comes in handy. But you don't need node spacer. You just need um, network. Ne uh, network anarchy will do it, right? <clears throat> Am I going to try out lane controller? Uh, I, I didn't intend to. I don't really know anything about it. I just um, I want to update a SPUI so that people can use it in their cities. You know? You wonder how it would work in city skylines? It would work great. Oh, making the magic roundabout? I've seen it. It's So the magic roundabout is, um, I would call it a low to medium flow implement. It is not a high flow traffic solution. It's, it's uh, I'm sure, better than a singular roundabout at summing up that many roads, but it really depends what direction traffic is trying to come from and go to and how much of it and at what time. But yeah, I, I've seen simulations of it and been told about <laughs> things about it it's a it's a low to medium traffic solution is the thing lane changer is a must dusk moon it'll solve a lot of traffic managers i uh solve a lot of traffic problems i i'm still confused about what lane what's it called lane controller i'm still confused about exactly what it does i would love to know path adjuster. Yeah, I don't I don't fully understand. I can see that they're they're moving it around, they're wiggling it with these they're pulling these in in certain directions, but that I don't understand. Yeah, no, I think it's more specific. I think it's within the segment is the thing. PU means point urban. Yeah. <laughs> what else would it mean? Spooey. Single point urban interchange. I do have a spooey in the workshop. I have two, but I want to update this one. I'm, I'm probably going to rebuild it from the ground up, but the lines on this one I do like. It would be nice if this were a little more gradual, probably. Like this, this, uh, all right, enough with the vocals. It would be nice if the connections were a bit more gradual, but what I really want to do is swap out this road for the median road. I think median, median six lane road is the, is the way to go, honestly. Median six lane road road love the bike stack oh nice jt i'm glad to hear it yeah that was a bit of a bit of a joke bit of humor there's truth in the joke but at the end of the day it's still just a joke right so that's that's how it is but everyone thank you for being here this is yumble live it's a live streaming experience extravaganza um giveaway but there's but you just receive entertainment it's like a free it's a free giveaway you just have to show up i'm, I'm giving away the entertainment <laughs> makes it sound like I have something to give away I really don't but I do have a video coming out tomorrow I will tell you that I have a, a video about solving problems with your mods I every day every day I check uh, reddit and I'll scroll through city skylines and I'll see what's going on and like I want to I want to see the, check on the community and see the climate of things and every day I see information about about people who are 
having a hard time getting their game running because of plazas and promenades because of that update. So I made a video explaining kind of the process for for troubleshooting and solving that. And uh, I, I hope it really helps. I hope people like it. I give away love. <laughs> give it away now. <laughs> Push button, receive yumble. Yeah, right. Bike stack. I'm glad you guys liked bike stack. That was a departure from my usual stuff, right? You're aware of what the spooey means? Some question about the PU. Oh, so so making the title, everyone, this is a very scientific process. I said, what are the two funniest letters that are next to each other in spooey? And I was like, it's not SP. Let's see if this works. I'm going to turn off 81 tiles and see if I can access the editor. Algernon did a great job disabling the editor. Here we go. Disabled because it's active. Disable it and restart the game. That's fair. I can do that. So anyway, making the title, put. let's put the PU in Spooey, in S-P-U-I. Like, PU were, was the, the winner far and away for funniest set of letters in Spooey. Spooey's a funny word on its own, but SP didn't do it. And UI isn't that funny. Like, user interface. There's nothing funny about a user interface. That's serious. I take that seriously. I take that personally. If it's a bad user interface... I can't live like that. What's my standard go-to map? Interchange test map. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Interchange test map. Or the editor. Or like Little River. I think if I had to start a full-blown city right now, I think I would do it on Little River. I would throw a train station in on Little River and, uh, and make it happen. Let's do the uh, asset editor. A new one. We're going to do this. This old, this old uh, chestnut here, Laviante. If you hold control, it boots with loading screen mod. That's amazing. Let's put the PU in Spooey. PU was the winner far and away. That's all. That's my, that's my, uh, that's how we did it. That's how it worked out. Is that interchange test map in the workshop? Yes, it's called interchange test map. If you Google Use Google. Use other search engines to search the workshop. Don't use the workshop search to search the workshop. It's actually not as good as as um, Google. A lot of people, I'll tell them what to search for, and they're like, I can't find it. It's like, just Google it. Literally, don't use the... <laughs> the indexing on the workshop itself is really, really rough. Um, kind of kind of weird. Doesn't work very well. You spend the, uh, more time loading the game than anything. That's fair. There's a lot to be loaded. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to build something out of like three different roads and it's loading all of my stuff into memory. So that's kind of bogus, right? I should have a profile with nothing on, but... All pros lag. Yeah, you can just refresh your page. If you just refresh it by hitting the... It's like a it's like a, a, an arrow in a circle. Or I don't know, on YouTube, what do you do? Close the Close the thing, reopen it. The lag is not on my end. That is on my end, getting blasted in the in the face with the with the white light. That was me. I'll have to adjust the lights probably. I think certain mods don't work in this, certain visual mods. Yeah, sorry about the flashback. Flashbang. My game is lagging? No, all pros, that was normal. There was nothing there was really nothing weird about that. Um, that's what loading screen mod looks like, and when it's when it's <laughs> I don't know if it loads the simulation in this, but that's it always does that. If it were unusual, I would remark on it. I promise. We're going to reduce the brightness just a little. There we go. I look slightly green, but that's okay. Marco, welcome in. Thanks for being here. All right, let's get let's get slightly crazy. You have Nintendo Switch? I learned on Nintendo Switch Edition. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Like, it's fine. It's just it lags once you get over, like, a dozen people. Once you have a dozen people living in your city, the game says, okay. The game says, that's enough. It was fun while it lasted. Here, we'll measure this using... We'll do a two-lane road there and then a three-lane road. So I generally want to start with the highway first. I have, a, I have a whole system. As you might imagine, I've done this a few times. It's a whole thing. Go back this way. So standard spacing, these should be four units apart. Normal, regular. The Switch has a City Skylines version, yep. Imagine that. 
The Switch has City Skylines on it. It the processor is simply not ready, is the thing. I'm gonna turn them down the music even more. The music is gonna be barely perceptible. That's as low as it can go, apparently. Weird. Barely perceptible is what I want. So how wide? I guess where are the ramps gonna come in and how wide do we want them to be is the is the big question. That's seven units. Well, that's that's the point where the spooey is going to go, for starters. Get rid of the editor grid. I'm also going to make the roads a little darker because everything's kind of blown out right now. I don't have time to troubleshoot the visuals really, but I can make the roads. I can make the roads look a little more contrasted. There it is. That'll work. I'll have to do a little better for the screenshots once this goes up in the workshop, but you can smell the burning from here. <laughs> Ooh, Lonely Aussie, if you turn off the grid, you can make them as big as you want. Yeah, the, so the Switch has a terrible, terrible time running city skylines. I'll be, I'll be real honest with you. The Switch is really not good at city skylines, but I learned on it. Didn't stop me from learning. I learned the principle. Like, I made several successful cities. Successful as in functional, if only marginally so. Maybe like that. There we go. I look green too. I, the the monitor is making me green with envy. But yeah, the switch, though it though it kind of catches on fire while you're trying to play, it does work. Like it's fine. It just it just can't run it very well because <laughs> we all have supercomputers and uh, our computers also can't run it very well. So can you blame the switch? No. But should it should it be on the switch? Also, probably no. But it is good to have it available to people, I think. I think it's a nice... It's nice in principle. Like, to allow people access to it. But if the experience is so bad... Well, you know what I mean. If the, if it's if it's not fun, then what kind of experience are, is, are people really having when they play? Let's see, where's the midway point? Ten units. This is probably five units. Um, I think what I want to do is have this come up the mid, the midway here, and then split between the two. I would also like for this to be grounded, actually, so I'm going to up this to 12 units, I think. I'm just going to sketch this out. It should go fairly quickly, though, because I've, I've built this before. I just want to build it with the nice, fancy new roads that we have. Oh, Lonely Aussie, thanks for joining. Thanks for being a member. I appreciate it. There you are. Welcome in. Thank you. That should be about the midway point. Let's see if this works. Grounded. Aussie, enjoy the emotes. You, you love to have them. You love to see it. Oh, no. I need to be further back, I think. Yeah, this is going to be slightly whack. Uh, let's let's move this back just a little bit, I think. As bad as I want to do that, I think I have to not... Oh! It might not be so bad. I know it looks bad, but like it might, it might not be as bad as it looks. That advice alone was worth it? What did I even say? I don't know what I said, dude. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Chaos, welcome in. Wine flowing, make an interchange, yes. How does one put the point urban in the spooey? Hey, Wire, that's what we're here to find out. It's, it is a, it's a rhetorical question, but I mean, I mean to find out today by doing this. Whatever I'm doing, I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I'm curious. I might have to change like the angles of everything to make this do what I want it to do. What is that? What in the world? So. Right. Oh, okay. So that just kind of... Okay. Obviously. 
So anyway, I'm going to delete this. Uh, let's... I want to change the measurement of this, I think. Maybe we'll go back by a, a unit and see how it looks. So what I have here is I have, I have a 12 unit wide area. 12 unit wide uh, segment, rather. Greg W, welcome in. Thanks for thanks for being a member. Welcome in. Adam, thank you. I am well. Feeling good. Turning off the grid? Oh, totally, yeah. Turn off the grid. Absolutely. You need, um, you'll need Network Anarchy to do it, though. And draws, welcome in. How I seen better TTV emotes can show up on YouTube streams now. Oh, cool. I haven't, uh, I, I don't have it installed. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm running Opera right now. I have it on Chrome, but not Opera. Isn't that weird? All right, so we're going to go... Maybe 10 units here? Let's do 10 units for this one. That should be a fairly uh, shallow grade for my purposes. It should work out. Well, let's see if this looks a little bit better. This one's going to be elevated. Yep. And we'll just kind of throw these in and see what happens here. There it is, Blake. That's okay. C-Pain, it's a single point urban interchange. So it's a variety of interchange that is perfect for converting. A, you can convert a diamond interchange, a standard diamond, like a regular rural interchange, into a spooey without taking up much space if your city can afford it. That's all that matters. That looks good. How do we how do we feel about that? Pretty good, right? Uh Pretty much that, right? Does does that fit the bill? So this is a split as you might imagine. The road will connect to the highway here. It will it'll um traffic will go up the ramp and they'll pick the left or the right lane and they'll split left or right. Left will be their left turn, right will be their right turn. If they wanted to go straight, they should stay on the interchange. But I think that that is a pretty decent looking thing. I just want to, before I commit to this, I want to have all the angles down. I don't want to do this on all sides and have it turn out to be a waste of time. I want it to be awesome. The typo was better. Helen, I auto-corrected it, okay? I'm not going to, I'm not here to throw people under the bus. <laughs> there it is. That's the angle. It's backwards, but the angle is is true. How far is that? Nine units? I like that. That's good. Blake, thank you for your continued men membership. I appreciate it. Intersections have way more dedicated turn lanes. In Florida, you have seven plus three approaching most intersections. Um... You can do that in game. It just, if you use transit, you shouldn't have to. I think is the is the best way I can say it. Sorry, the notification isn't popping up, Blake, but thank you. Make sweet live. Sweet sweet live. Oh, so this is actually going to be a four lane road. I forgot to tell you. This one, four lanes, easy, easy peasy. Uh, this one is actually going to be the six-lane road, so the the lane math should be pretty apparent by the time we've by the time we arrive. Um, let's try ten or nine units. Yeah, we'll start with that and let's slope them accordingly. So we're going to use uh, network multi-tool to get the to get the slope going. Four percent grade, gorgeous. Now this one, same deal. Let's see how this one slopes out. 5.9. 5.9 isn't too bad, actually. I might call that within spec. I might call that somewhat acceptable, right? Best vanilla interchange. Um, diamond is okay. Vanilla. You can build a spooey. Uh, sorry, you can build a partial cloverleaf. There are, uh, there's vanilla partial cloverleaf tutorials. The left turns connect from the left lanes. Um, the problem there is that they won't. Well, they would come to a single point, but the but the the issue then is connecting the highway to this. So just imagine. Let me just illustrate. 
So David is talking about, uh, David Rodini talking about connecting it to the center lane. Mega, welcome in. Thanks for subscribing. I agree with you in principle, and in real life this is doable, but in game this is kind of the purpose of Vanilla Overpass. If I actually try to connect this, there is there's no real situation where this road connects gracefully because it's right next to the first one. So that's kind of why I have this road spaced out. One for the hill and two for the connection here. This road, even if I connect it closer, it's not going to connect nicely. Like the... Uh, the textures are always going to overlap, and it's going to get a little gnarly, right? Oh, Jared, I just I switched it up. I didn't want things to be so, so dramatic. <laughs> it occurred to me that I might as well, you know, make things a little less dramatic around here. Let's see if this is sensible. I want to see how everything looks. Oh, this one can be uh, on the ground. Please and thank you. Yeah. You can't battle me. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Um, traffic manager keeps adding traffic lights, and we really don't want it to do that. I don't want to risk having any that I forget about. Because that's going to hurt everyone. I don't want random traffic lights in the asset. When people go to download it, I want it to mostly work exactly how it's supposed to. Mostly. CS drama is the best drama. What drama? There's no drama. Only discussion. Only healthy discussion between respectful individuals. That's why I'm here. So I, with this, I can I can make this connection a unit further back, or we can leave it right where it is. It's pretty good where it is, though. Pretty Pretty okay, I'd say. Unless we want, like, two left turn lanes. If we want two left two left turn lanes, that might be kind of cool. But not totally necessary, either way. Hele, Hel welcome in. Bridge! What bridge? This bridge? This is supposed to be... Bri this has to be bridged, this piece. Pretty okay? Pax, I appreciate it. Thank you. I think that's an okay starting point. I do... I kind of want this to be slightly further. Where the connections are occurring is okay, though. I just want this to be one more back. I think this is seven units away right now. So anyway, this is to share in the workshop. Yeah, we want this eight units back. Eight units back, I figure. Six units. Eight units... The sloping, we'll, we'll figure out the sloping later. So this one will be grounded. Yeah, I feel better about this angle already. This one will be bridged. We can use node controller to fix all of the spacing on them. Make it a little bit nicer. These can get spaced out too. I think all this really needs... Oh, that adds an extra node in the middle? Gross. That is something we do not want, actually. I don't know if it retains my settings, though, by deleting that. It does. Good job. Cool. Yep. That all looks okay, except for the weird spot. Other than the weird spot, it's really good. There you go. Just a nudge with move it is all it takes. A little magic. Thanks a lot, John. Have a good night. And setting up captions on OBS when you least expect it. I'm, I'm sorry, Pax. I could do it on YouTube's end. Or it might be possible. I'll, I'll see. I'll look into it. I think that's a good looking angle. That's a good looking approach for that lane. And this triangle looks a bit more uh, equilateral than it used to. It used to look kind of compressed in this direction, and now it doesn't. So on the other end, it, it would look like this. Let's see what the other side kind of looks like. 
So eight units. Ten meters high. That the the height is gonna change in a little bit, but that's fine. And then these go in like this. Oops. <laughs> Not quite like that. This one can be grounded. What I should be doing is turning up the max segment length. Subtract those, turn them backwards. These are our inlets from the, whatever this is, from the uh, arterial. Hmm. Right. And you're already done? Nice. Okay. So now we should start getting a feel for what this is really going to look like when it's all said and done. I must have already done this and then forgotten. My brain is, is a scattered, scattered place. So far, that's, uh, that's approximately right, except for the sloping. But we're going to do the sloping in a second. So that's half of the spooey. The, the single point is starting to take shape, right? Got it, Pax. Thank you. Fail out with the game when you have to progress into your third tile. Oh, I love the interchanges. Yeah, Haywire. That's why I keep saying it's not done yet. <laughs> it does look weird. I agree. But unfinished things are unfinished, and, and that's okay. I think I liked the look of, like, nine units away. So there. Nine units. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. I'm down. Some are addicted to caffeine, sugar, heavier drugs, but Yumble's addicted to the spooey. Uh, I'm addicted to the spooey and also caffeine, too. It's a little black tea. At this point, it is room temperature. <laughs> that is that is very much room temperature black tea, but uh, what are you going to do? Ooh, nine units. So now we're starting to get a feel for what we got, for what's happening here. I want to start the slope back here and have it end up here. And I do want this to be aimed that way. I think it makes more sense to aim it towards the left turn. The left turn is kind of the focal point of this whole operation here. Um, which lane should this point at? Probably the left lane, yeah? I suppose. That's probably the best that that can look. We'll increase this a little bit. Just so it flows nicer. 12 is probably good. I think that is the way to go. So that's about what it's going to look like on all sides. That's the that's kind of the the thing of it. And then you get up here and there's a quick left. Addicted to the Parklo? Yeah, Parklo, Spooey, things like that. I hooked you the one week I drank wine. Oh no. I don't need the wine to have fun. It just doesn't hurt necessarily. Doesn't hurt anyone but me, I guess. There we go. So these are all pushed towards the inside. I'll have to sort of remember that. 12. So that's the merge. This one can be sloped. Thusly. Cool. And this can be sloped. Not, this hasn't changed, I don't think, but yeah. 5.9. It would be nice if this were a bit more gradual, but it will be actually. It's going to be a lot more gradual once this is lowered. The whole thing is going to be lowered into the ground in a little while. So I really shouldn't be sloping anything till we've lowered it into the ground. Uh, let's let's do that now. Now is a good time. So I'm going to go for positive five. This is a two-level interchange, so the high side is going to be positive 5, the low side is going to be negative 5. It'll maintain a 10-unit difference, 
We probably don't even need a 10 unit difference, really. I think you can do nine or other things too, but this isn't bad. Let's just start with this for now. So on the low side, we can go to our negative five. And on the high side, we can go to our positive five. And for now, this can go to the same height as that. And that alters the slopes. Let's see what this is really going to look like. Because this is the actual... There it is, a 2% grade on the ramps. That is a much more manageable amount. Especially in, in the winter or something like that. Yeah, 2% is good. This one's going to go from 5.7... Oh, 5.9... Down to 3! A much more manageable 3% grade to summit the interchange. Which isn't bad either. 10 is nice and predictable. Yeah, it's even. It's hard for me to do 9 because am I going to do am I going to do 4 units underground and 5 above or 5 units underground and 4 above? Cuz then I have a decision to make and I don't want to do that. Q, welcome in. How art thou? You're pretty sure network multi-tool slopes each node by the same amount. If you have many nodes closer together, it'll slope differently to many sparse nodes. No. No, it's going to take the... If they're ridiculously close together, it may have unexpected behavior, but uh, it's going to average the the distance, the length of each segment, and slope the nodes based on that. There might be a better way to say that, but but I think that's the truth. I think that's how it works. I think 12 is the way to go with that. This one should be aimed that way, yep. This one should be straight on, straight on, yep. This one, we can aim it towards the middle. Uh-huh. 12, cool. So that's half of the equation. This is going to be a very long interchange, but that's, it. the spooey is kind of a long interchange. It considers the distance, correct. Yep, that's kind of the, that's the whole benefit of it, is that it's looking at the the distance. It'll make it very easy to, to do these also. Here, let's let's do this side. I'll do it quick. Quick and dirty. Where is this? 12 units. So we're looking for 6 units. Uh, 8 units this way. At 5 meters high. This one seems to go 10 units. Yep, I'm going to turn off the snapping. Sorry, not the snapping, the road guidelines, because they're just going to get in the way. And then this goes... Ugh. It's hard to tell where things are. Well, it goes to here, so let's mark that end point, and then we'll freeform road tool at home. Nice. I'm going to redraw these in a second with straight slope turned on, probably. We'll see what happens. The first and last segments are a bit too steep. Are you talking about this instance, or are you talking about in general, Q? I figure you're probably talking more generally. This one can be elevated. Let's delete that middle node. Bye 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 Turn them backwards. Ooh. Reground it. Yep, yep. Let's throw in this road off to the side so it looks not like that, because I really hate... <laughs> That's not a good look for the end of your road, is it? It looks a bit weird. In general, see previous comment. Is considered the size of the start and end nodes. Calculates as if they extend to the middle of those nodes. Understood. Do you think that Mac intends to amend that? It's probably not priority. It works really well to begin with, in my opinion. Like, just out of the box, node controller is really, really nice. Or, um, sorry, network multi-tool. It does so much. It just does so much. Diego, welcome in. DDIs feel weird. I, I don't mind either way, personally. Like, a DDI is really manageable. You just, if you follow the law... Just don't do anything you wouldn't normally do. <laughs> Assuming you would obey the law. 
Just don't do anything crazy. And everyone will be fine. We'll get out of this okay. After doing so many system interchanges lately, a service interchange seems kind of simple and forgiving. It's nice. It feels good. It feels good to be home. I would say these are the more fun to, s to set up overall when comparing system and service interchanges. I think this is the more fun scenario. Ooh, what happened there? That's supposed to be grounded. I messed it up. There it is. All the outer ones should be grounded. All the inner ones should be elevated. That's good. It's about as good as it's going to get. Let's uh, let's node control everything. My law. Follow the law? Whose law? <laughs> That's the question, isn't it? Who says? Uh, so this goes up to 12. This one, we can throw these out to the sides to make it look a little nicer. Make it as small as possible, and then straighten ends. I can do the same thing on all of these. Ooh, that looks different for some reason. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I have to do this side first, and then... It's important that we nudge all of these first, and then go back and do other stuff later. There it is. There it is. Now we're looking... Now we're looking real, real something. <laughs> well, we already did that. So make this as small as possible. Back it off. Yep, identical. Same thing here. Move these a little. Cool. Small as possible. I guess the lesson is do all of your, uh, if you do all of the aligning first you'll get different amounts the the triangles will change sizes based on how how much you've shifted each node and then you can redo that after and you'll get a different result the order matters right have fun vlog you make uh make both one lane segments elevated on the y and run some bike lanes under them to overpass the highway Make the make both one lane segments elevated. So the outer ones would be elevated too. And then try to run a bike lane under it. I don't know how much clearance like I don't know if this allows enough clearance for a bike lane, but that would shift the whole thing higher. I have done these with bike lanes though. That's not it's not out of the question. It's possible. I'd like to have two through lanes and two let let's see if um if an asymmetrical road ends up being appropriate here. I know it will be, but let's see if we like how it how it looks or functions. Where is my asymmetrical two plus four? That's two plus three. Two plus four. Two plus four is overpowered in every situation and it's beautiful. Let's slope this side before I forget. And there's a little bit more node controller that needs to happen. I think I already got that one, but this one, we can push this towards the inside and then go up to 12 and make ends straight. And that's, that's about all there is to that, I think. Where we're going, we don't need no roads. Apparently. I just want to see where the nodes fall just doing it that way. Not in the center. That's that's good, actually. That's very, very good. So let's take this. Get that going. Negative five. Let's bring this center segment down. And then we'll slope these out. Two point eight percent. That's what you want to see. Minimal grade. It could probably be less, but uh, two point eight is is totally within spec for a freeway. 
Four plus two is double turn lanes, yeah. So I may end up doing... Uh... Oh, that might change the shifting. Let's see how it looks if we throw in some... Some uh, two lane... Two lane left turns here. Yeah, it's going to change the shift, but that's okay. Do you think we need two coming off the highway? We probably might as well, huh? Might as well. All of these are about to become two lane. This is going to be like a real with lane math applied kind of uh, scenario, I think, by the end. I think that's a better, I think that's a better option. Yep, doubles all around. I've got triples. I've got triples of the Barracuda. Wait, where do I have to click? Probably there. Oh, it actually brings it back in? What? Okay, I'll take it. Whatever this is doing, I'll, I'll accept it. I'll take it for what it is. This side is probably going to get nudged to the right, though. It is. That's okay. That's all good. That's all good. This is... This is fine. I think. Oh, I forgot to slope these. Yeah, we want it sloped that way. I'll have to do this on every side. Beautified. Bonified and beautified. This is going to amount to a yield. There's going to be a bit of a yield on the right turn, but that's okay because this, this won't always have traffic passing through it. But she's going to get better. <laughs> Robert, thanks for knowing what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's going to get better. Got triples of the Barracuda. All right. Let's get serious. Oh, you too. Nice. 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 I think I got all these, right? I should have done this a bit more systematically so I could, uh, so I could see it. Hamad, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. There it is. Thank you. I do intend to keep going, for the record. I will continue to go. Until I've gone. Completely. <laughs> Don't stop till you get enough. Alright. That's fantastic. These aren't sloped yet, but other than that, I think the nodes are all controlled appropriately. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep going till I'm gone. Right? That all looks pretty reasonable, right? There's no intersection markings yet, and uh, obviously it needs to be traffic controlled. But I think that this does all the spooey things that I want it to do. It's just going to be this marking is always so crazy. I love it. No, stop now. Stop. Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> uh, alt. Nightshade. If you, if you hold the alt key, here's what Nightshade's talking about, everybody. You get to pick which direction you want the road to slope. So you have to make sure that it's on slope. And then main slope direction will automatically shift to manually when you change it. I'm just making it so it manually is going towards the center because I think that that's the more crucial of the two. And these will be the priority road. Like the main road will, will be the sloping. And this one, obviously, there's only one way it can slope, so nothing to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for asking it in a way that I could understand. Yes, yes, Alex, there is much work to be done. Let's. Uh, we'll do that next. Whatever's good. No crosswalks. Only in the the center do I want to remove crosswalks. Because really, we don't want people crossing the road at these points because that's just a whole lot of extra conflict. People will be crossing the road at other points. Like, good luck, good luck to you. But they will be. Because that's how it works. Uh, let's, let's also do this. I'm going to use four lane road on the ends, just as your exit lane. Like a merge lane, if you know what I know what I mean. So just a little seven unit, just a little seven banger. 
and then we'll node control that as well. There it is. There it is. This will get shifted out to match the three. This will get shifted out to match the three lane road. Thusly. Everything else will be aligned to that. Maybe 30 there. Yeah. That should make for a pretty smooth uh, exit altogether, I think. So I'm just holding shift to change the alignments here. But it just smooths everything out. And this will go up to 30. I'm holding shift to, to skip increments of 10 also. It's all pretty balanced, right? I think it's a pretty balanced uh, looking thing. Not too bad. It's a people killer. No, no, no. It's it's relatively safe. I wouldn't really want to walk across it, but generally I don't recommend putting interchanges in places where people are walking anyway, is the thing. Like I often, people will just say like, what? How, how do you cross it? And it's like, well, I mean, you can, but it's not really supposed to go in a place where there's lots of people crossing. That's kind of the the whole point <laughs> is that the interchanges and highway are are away from people ideally but it is crossable it just takes a few light cycles it's also pretty large what has happened here WASD yeah M150 WASD will get you I'll go into Google Maps and I'll I'll be like oh that's what happened I did the wrong one um, I'll open Google Maps and I'll try to WASD around and like tilt the camera. Does not work. Hmm. We do have lamps in the road. How do we feel about lamps in the road? Should I uh, do something about that? Probably. Tunnels or bridges for pedestrians? No, they they cross uh, they cross at the crosswalks, which don't exist yet. I can show you an example of this near where I live. You wish Google Maps had WASD? That would be kind of good, right? Remove them. You actually it actually doesn't work in the asset editor. Fun, fortunately, fun factually, it does not work in the asset editor. What I can do. I can make them higher and lower, but I kind of like the sloping that we're getting currently. It would be nice if you could remove it by segment in the asset editor and have it stay, but you you just can't. It just doesn't work that way. What is WASD? Uh, Dave D, the letters WASD are how... hope you're doing good, too, um, or how, you, how I'm moving around. So, like, if you... They're organized on the keyboard, like, up, down, left, right. So W is up, S is down, A is left, D is right. I had to look to do that, but muscle memory wise. So that way I can have my left thumb on the pause button on the space bar. It's good because like, if you think about Wolfenstein, who, who, who does that land for? The original Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 3D. That was uh, no mouse. You would use the keys up, down, left, right to move. And I think you shoot with space bar. I don't actually remember, but you'd use the arrow keys. Once mouse look became a thing where you're using the mouse to look around like this, if you hold the uh, scroll wheel, you can do that. WASD is great for moving forward, backward, left, right, like strafing, and then you turn and look with the mouse. So WASD just shifts the controls over on the keyboard for, uh, I wasn't even born, for Wolfenstein 3D, I was born in 89, come on. Wolfenstein 3D was like 93 or 94. It was on my first computer. Not it wasn't my computer, but it was my family's first like home computer that we had kicking around. I wasn't even born then. I'd been born twice by that point. Wolfenstein 3D. Lefty here, WASD hater. Do you run your mouse with, with the opposite hand though? Do you actually like full hard commit to the to the lefty life? Did I already do this one? I must have. It looks it looks right. Everything is good except for these things in the road. One solution would be... 
Well, there's a few ways we could approach this. Let's see what happens if we just move this, like, nearly under the thing. If I just do that, and then the same thing on the other side. Six units away. Is that the same? All right, so that puts the lamps in the middle of the road, which is not, not super duper great. Can I make this segment so small that the lamps don't appear? Is that possible? Could could that be done? I had a computer room. No, my my Windows ninety five machine was in my parents' room. But like at that at that point there was there wasn't internet or anything. It wasn't like a it wasn't useful for anything, like connectivity wise. It was literally like a word processor that came installed with. Wolfenstein, because the family that we bought it from had Wolfenstein pre-installed on the computer, and I was like, sick. <laughs> I was like, this is great. I never played Doom. I've never played original Doom. Just Wolfenstein. But that's the original. People think Doom is the original first-person shooter. It's actually Wolfenstein. History. Can I use Bob? Yeah, but that's local is the thing, so others would have to do the same thing. I really want this to be self-sufficient so we're gonna go down to negative five everybody new video comes out tomorrow it's about mods and you you and your mods and city skylines and how to <laughs> how to troubleshoot the, your mods that no longer work after the plazas and promenade update specifically because I still, a lot of people still do not realize that all the mods have been swapped out. So I kind of did a, something bordering on a PSA for everybody. Man, they're still in the road. They're always going to be in the road unless I change the elevation. I think that's probably the only solution. Also, why is this borked now? What happened? I guess it just decided it wanted to mess up. Or I could make these segments larger. Like if I just make one node in the middle, that would probably reduce the number of lights enough. No, it'll just add more lights in the middle because they're going to come at the same frequency no matter what. Ugh. Lights. Why connectivity? We had floppy disks in 93, yeah. We were connected by mail in the 90s, well connected by mail, until uh, dial-up became more prevalent. Two small segments in the middle? Maybe. I don't want to reduce the functionality is the thing. Oh, he let you in, they let you install Doom on the, on the CAD machine? Nice. Yes. Um, find a road network without lamps, yeah. The alternative is I increase the height of things. Increase the height until the lamps disappear. So I can make the low road lower and the high road higher. Thank you. Who, who's done this? Ice style. Welcome in. I think it's ice style, right? Hope I pronounced you right. Welcome to the thing. Welcome to the stuff. Let's see if it changes if I connect this side. Lamps in the road. The center lamp isn't real. That's a fake. That's a fake lamp. But these are real. These are really in the road. Obviously, they won't affect anything, but they look like trash. And I'm not going to release it if it looks like trash. I can't do it. Can't do it. Nitro Frog, welcome in. Need a mod called Light It. Play multiplayer Doom? Ooh, nice. So you had a LAN set up then? The whole school was probably networked, right? I wonder I wonder if you could just get away with that. Um, there's one more thing we can try. I'm becoming more and more partial to the idea of lifting 
one and lowering the other. So for instance, if we do, if we do up positive six and negative six as measurements, let's see how that affects everything. So the high side up to positive six, yikes. The low side down to negative six. There's still just a little bit of lamp in the road, but if we slope this, is that gonna change anything? Will this change it enough to matter? Hmm. It's very, very close, but I don't think it's gonna fix it. I'd have to go seven and seven, which is kind of a lot. It's just this tiny little thing now. That's the lamp, that's all we can see of the, of the lamps. It's very close. They're almost gone, actually. Hold on. Did we get it? Can we just pretend it's not happening? Or I can just use move it and nudge this up like... Done. Done. That's it. That's it. I'm just... I. That's the finest increment that we can do. So the lights are in there. Just don't look under the thing because they're in there. Nitro Frog, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think I think that's acceptable. I'm gonna reslope them based on that value now, but because I have to, like for my own sanity. So 2.5 on the sides, which is well within spec. As long as it's less than like five or six percent grade, I'm pretty happy about it. And we'll hit these as well. Mm-hmm. There it is. Uh, let's fix the ends again. Plenty of space down there. Plenty of space. 30 units there. Yep. Thirty units there, beautiful. And then this side got messed up at some point too. Just make sure everything's still the same. It is. And thirty units. I think it's pretty good overall. Yeah. Any other changes to be made before we do intersection marking tool and traffic manager? How do we feel? I think we pretty much got it. How do I check for trucks? Um, oh, like if there's enough space, that's plenty of space. There is, there is quite enough space there for the trucks. I want to see how our spacing works out with this, though. Make sure we have enough space. This could also be a U-turn interchange if we want to do it, potentially. I know everyone really loves U-turns, and they're like, I wish every interchange had U-turns, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, and I'm like, okay, I can't relate, but, but it's important to some. Add a looping, like upside down. Cuboid, no. Specifically, specifically for you. No turning around. Come on, come on. Turn a little faster. So the problem here is we want to have the left turns occur at the same time. And there's not enough space to do that currently. So this, the trick here is going to be making the intersection bigger until it supports what we need. You'll, you'll see these are crossing over one another. So here's the move to, to resolve that. We take a look at the lefts, where the lefts are coming from and where they're going to. This side is actually good. This side I'm not going to worry about yet. But that left and this left need to not cross one another. Which means this thing is about to get a little bigger. I think. Did I already space these? I must have, yeah. Dang.
I can probably just increase the red and the orange. Now we're getting into this is poking through because this node is like out of control right now. The purple. Here, let's see. Can I increase the whole thing and accomplish this? That's going to be flat. Oh my goodness. We're reaching absurd levels of absurdity. Can anyone think of another solution to this? Because these left turns have to be able to happen at the same time. Otherwise, the point is defeated. What's that 4 plus 2 asymmetrical road? It is the network extensions replacement pack by Silas. If you Google Silas Steam Workshop, C-Y-L-I-S, you'll find a 4 plus 2 road. It's really, really good. Push the blue road to the left using shift. The blue road to the left. Yeah. It's already shifted is the thing. JTN, thank you. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Texas, you turn from highway, please. Like this? Maybe. Maybe. I got to solve the problem at hand. First. So this is default. Everything's default. These have to happen at the same time. These could get pushed out a little bit. Right, right. I see you. These can all get pushed out. This can all be reduced. So this turn is very shallow when they're all flattened out like that. And then the angle gets very wide. These cars are going to hit these cars. That's the that's the issue. We want the Venn diagram to be not overlapping. Does that make sense? Get the exits straight. Get that lane controller mod. I don't think that that's going to... I don't know that that fixes this here. Maybe it does, actually. Ooh. Does it work on nodes or only segments? I'd need one more lane? No. Nope, the lane math is already perfect right now. Uh, the street lamps are not clipping. Yeah, they're clipping into the road, but they're not clipping through the road. Let's play. I, I resolved that a few minutes ago. Maybe you, maybe you just got here, though. Texas needs a separate third lane. Oh, 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 a separate third lane. I would just let them do it. I would just let them do it on the same cycle. I don't see any reason to add a third lane. I would just let them do it from the left lane if that's what they want. The asymmetrical road is too asymmetrical. Well, here's the thing. On the other side, it's going to work great. On this side, it's going to be totally perfect. We want, we want those to miss, and those do. Like, this left turn misses that left turn. The margin doesn't really matter. They just have to not hit each other. It just has to be functional. So I'm confident in that. Get rid of these for visual understanding. So if I shift this further to the left... That would work. These all got messed up. But they're all going to end up getting shifted anyway. So I got to get over it. If I shift... I hate that I have to shift anything. Oh, we could shift this to align it. This may cause other problems that I don't know about, but... Let's take this orange road. This complicates everything massively. I love it, though. It's on brand. Uh, let's let's get a guide. Let's get a view on this. What if that were a straight line? What then? Oh, geez. Uh, about there. How far did I shift it? I've already forgotten. Three meters orange three meters 
Well, now I want to do it two meters because now it looks like it kind of shifts outwards unnecessarily. So let's do two meters on the shift, on the shiftometer there. Oop. Two is looking good. I like what I'm seeing with two because that pretty much aligns with this. Like that seems like an okay way to go, right? Does that make sense? So now that side's shifted. Let's shift this side. Let's see how much like space this buys us. So I want to nudge blue over by two meters, probably negative two, yeah, negative two. And red over by positive two. Okay, right. Reduce all these again. Closer. It's closer. It's it's somewhat closer. Oh, it throws the, throws these totally out of alignment though. That I don't like as much. Where you end up doing that? <laughs> oh no. Uh, Two point five. Um, the further we we go down that shifting rabbit hole. Well, here let's here actually. Now that I've done that, I think these will change. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right? They miss each other. If I reduce this all the way, squash it back out, they miss each other completely. God, it looks weird. But that's okay. It is weird. It is weird. That's just how it is. It's weird. It's a weird thing. These are going to shift back to the left a little bit. Let's see how these look uh, re redone. These should already be, be done properly, but we can minimize that, squash them back out. It's weird, but it, it kind of works, though. Znazi, welcome in. Amy, it's a spooey. It will always be weird. It's weird in name, and it's also weird in appearance, which is fine. You do you, spooey. I suppose the goal here, as far as lanes go... Uh, no. Not that, really. Or, well, maybe it is that. No, I think this would be the real, the real way. That's how I would end up handling it, I suppose. The shifting is wild. The way the shift worked out, it's kind of favorable on the ends and kind of weird in the middle. But I kind of like it. Now everything misses each other. Kind of works. Randy, welcome in. I hope you're well. Hope you're doing good. What if we made roads without lanes? Oh, just free for all. Isn't that streets? Riley, welcome in. Could the outside lanes be to go to the highway and inside lanes be straight ahead? I don't know what you mean. You just forbid right turn on HW, right turn on highway? Um, no, well, sorry. Here's the here's that complete thought. I didn't mean to forbid anything. It would be a shared. It would be a a shared lane. But I don't think that would cause many problems. Unless. It depends. There's going to be some splitting somewhere. So this might be okay to have two left turns, and then the straight throughs get shared. We'll have to test it. <laughs> We're just going to have to build it and test it. Linric, welcome in. Check my Insta. Randy, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. I have I have a hunch, but I'll, have to, I'll, I'll check later. I'm sorry, man. Uh, Ice Style, it's already out for people who, for certain patrons and YouTube members that are early bird status. It's already out for them, but it'll be out at 9 a.m. tomorrow for the everybody. For the everybody else. It's a good thing. Seven days, I know, Randy. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. Sorry, dude. Kaboom, welcome in. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you for being here. I think this is the way to go. This is what my gut says. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's the automatic one. I think it's this. Dedicated left. Center lane splits. Right lane splits. I think that is the... It doesn't look bad, actually. All shifted. It's like... You can see that it's asymmetrical, but it's not horrible, in my opinion. And, like, this one should be really easy. Marking-wise. Very, very simple. Goko, welcome in. You liked the left lane having two choices? The left lane having two choices. The thing is, I want to buy as much capacity as I can when it comes to... Uh, whoops. When it comes to this backing up, backing up and stacking up. Hmm. The markings are also going to determine, like where the traffic is going will determine the markings. We can also do things like this, like do a do a solid line down the middle there. Maybe a, Maybe even a solid line through here. Nope, that doesn't make sense for my purposes. It does not make sense. Well, this is certainly... Let's rethink this. This side is obvious. This side is always going to be that. Good morning. Uh, Mocheko, welcome in. You'd be inclined to do dedicated right turn and then split the other two lanes. M my problem with that is that then all of the straight through traffic is coming in on one lane, and there might be a lot of straight through traffic on this. If there's a lot of straight through traffic and we and we double it up here, then that's kind of rough altogether. Maybe this is actually it. Is that what I already did? That... That might be the way to go in this situation. Because the way that I the way that I really envision this contextually is you'd start at two lanes. This is just for illustration, but we would start at two lanes. The crosswalks are annoying. Darn pedestrians gumming up the works. So you'd start with two lanes, and then there would be a split. Oh goodness, I don't know. This would merge down to two lanes. Like you can you can do this pretty okay. They can they can come in together and then they all merge together and that's fine. But it would start at two lanes, it would go up to three, which implies maybe a dedicated right turn. But dedicated right turn is a lot of uh That's a lot of capacity just dedicated to right turns. Linric, welcome in. Invisible Gnome, good evening. Thanks for being here. I had it that way and then changed to have the center lane. Yeah, I, I know what I'm I know what I did, but I'm like I'm second guessing myself. That's the that's the point, is I'm trying to figure it out. What I've done is of little consequence. It's what I'm going to do that matters. <laughs> What's going to happen? Now you'd have a dedicated left turn. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think this is I think this is the best way. Where you get the most through capacity possible at the cost of a bit of right turn. And a bit of left turn. Because through capacity is kind of important on this one. Yeah, I think this is a better way to go. So the dedicated... The, the through lanes are as dedicated as they need to be. When this light turns green, all that matters is that these two lanes move. And as long as these two lanes move, this lane empties. Easily. Third guessing myself. I'll guess as many times as I need to. I will I will approximate repeatedly if need be. All right, so you can already see how this changes the markings, but I th think I think that's the way to go. With this one, I would even recommend probably that almost makes me want to convert this into a three-lane road, but that's obnoxious. 
<laughs> I don't like this is okay because the second that light turns green, everything empties out. Same principle as this. We're like, yeah, the right turning traffic might get caught in the crossfire, but the second this turns green, everybody's going. It's go, go, go. It's it's uh, checkered flag. What's the go flag? Checkered flag? Checkered flag is the last one. I don't I don't know racing. <laughs> Alright, so knowing knowing stuff, let's delete this. Uh, this is a given. We can put this one back in. And this side will be quite easy, I think. Because that's all just that. No problem. Green flag. Green for go. That's perfectly reasonable, actually. Perfectly reasonable. The blue left side with the orange right side. Well, they are aligned on this side. I had to pick a point to align it to, and I picked this point. But because of that, the middle gets offset. But that's okay. I'm willing to do it. That's a myth. For a bull, it's red. Oh, no. I imagine the bulls are just mad because I'd be mad, too. I'll be real with you. I'd be a little, I'd be a little peeved. I'd be a little annoyed if I were the bull. It's a reasonable stance, actually. That is how I would do that marking, I think. The shifting is kind of wild. I might adjust the shifting, but the markings aren't going to hurt when we go to look at that. But you can see how this is a this is a combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. It's both at the same time. I'm at the Pizza Hut. <laughs> I don't think Biffa cares for this type of interchange, but I don't I don't pretend to know things. He liked the Parklow. He he did an iteration of the Parklow that came out good. Uh, is this done? No, this isn't done. Let's finish this before moving on. Because it's going to be really gross if we don't. Chevron. Invert. I've, I've become a fan of stepping it up to like six. Maybe five? Maybe four? Yeah, let's do four. Just so we get four Chevrons amount of space. We can copy that marking. This one will also be chevrons. Oh, I forgot about crosswalks. Ugh. It's pretty much fine. This one I kind of want to be six, actually. Maybe I want them both to be six. Let's just make them both six. Yeah, it's fine. It's good how it is. It's good how it is. You don't need crosswalks. We do need crosswalks uh, here and uh, here. Those are crossings. GLHF on your crossing journey. But that's but those are crossings. I'm telling you. Hmm. This one can get moved over a little, it looks like. And maybe I'll get rid of the lines. The underlying, like, connected lines, because they're really not necessary. So we'll bail on that one. And we'll bail on... Oh, there it is. This one. Because now it's just... You don't need lines if you have a full-on median. It's kind of good. Oh, thank you, latest mirror. Yeah, feel 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 better. Rest up, right? You can cross here if you sprint. It's a very short. So here's the redeeming quality. I'll, I'll well, I'll say the bad thing first. The bad thing about this crossing is that it's on a free flowing road. A free a free flow free flowing road is always a bad thing for pedestrians because cars are going to arrive randomly. There's no guarantee that they'll, um, like, stop, honestly. There's no there's no light there to tell them to stop, or there's no nothing to, to tell them to stop, other than it's the law and it's a crosswalk. But I've been at crosswalks, too, and I've almost had my nose taken off by cars just going. So, like, so that's the downside. The good side is it's very, very short, 
Like to get from here to here is a very short distance and traffic is only coming from one direction. So you only have, think think like roundabout, except they're supposed to stop for you because you're a pedestrian, but, but don't expect them to because you might get hit by a car. So look left, ready? Just practice with me. One, two, three. And if there's no one there, you can take like four steps and you're and you're done. Rather than a road that's twice as wide and traffic is coming from both directions, you like look both ways, you start walking, you look both ways again and there's a car coming and you and you scurry, right? Some cars don't care. Yeah, I I don't I don't recommend crossing as if as if you own the place because it it it's not good. Right? Like clearly pedestrians do own that part of the road as it's a sidewalk. But I'm, I'm not going to advocate somebody test that to find out because it just takes one complacent driver. And as we talked about last stream, I think that there are many complacent drivers. I think there's a very high percentage of complacent drivers out there. So please don't don't test the crosswalk to see what happens if you just if you just book it, because that's not good. It may end poorly. Let's put it that way. You always cross like you own the place. It's just dangerous. It just takes one person. One person is sorry and the other person isn't around to be mad at them. And like, that's a, that's a really bad situation. I, I don't, I don't prefer that at all. I sort of want to shift all of these back by a unit. It's like the red one. Let's, let's see if this works. Let's go. Okay. Negative one. I think it puts us in a slightly bad spot, but not bad enough to be really bad. Huh. Okay. And blue. I'm mostly okay with that. It does cross over slightly, but I think the cars miss each other. Oh, they miss each other. I think I think it's okay though. I think it works out. Hmm, it's very close. I'm going to try it like this and if I have to fix it I will. But I think that that's within an okay margin. I like longer there. I like 20, 20 meters on the uh, on the long side, or maybe fifteen. Fifteen looks good. Cool. What about sidewalks to connect the middle? Um. Oh, here's part of the thing of it. I might actually have to switch out this. Because there is supposed to be a sidewalk on the edge here. How does it affect things if we use a, a road with sidewalk? Because there is supposed to be... Actual sidewalk here. This might affect everything positively, or it might not, but... Looks like it's probably a no. But that has the sidewalk that we need. We, we do need a sidewalk there. Let's see how that affect that changing the width of these roads is going to affect this somehow. I'm not sure exactly how. Oh, they already miss each other, huh? They already miss each other. I'm a professional. <laughs> I think. Uh, let's let's see this through and make sure it actually works that way. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Cause the cause th with a highway here, they wouldn't have a way to walk across. And no, to whoever thought that the crosswalk should go this way, no, no, no. It's actually, you cross here, you cross here, you cross here, you cross here. The good news is this is protected by the light. This one, this one, you get a pedestrian signal, so it's relatively safe. And you can also see the cars from a mile away, but there's a, there's a pedestrian signal there is the deal. Do we like the shift on this or should I shift it all back to center? The benefit of this is that this line is straight, and that's kind of nice, actually.
tend to actually put tunnels or bridges. It's it's very expensive. Here, I I wouldn't I wouldn't peg this as a place where there's a lot of pedestrians walking across it. I was I would hope that there's another way, and I would hope that this is a car centric little bit of city because there's an interchange there. So I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to hang out near it to begin with personally. Volk, welcome in. Good how it is. Yeah, I agree. There's always going to be a little shifting. Just a little, just a little shifting. All right. Can I undo that? No, I can't. All right. All right. It's actually not that bad. I hit the trash can instead of the align edges button. 15 is good there. Yeah. These can be realigned too. Well, let's do this one first before I forget. This might move slightly. Nope. It's not going to move at all. 15. Beautiful. All right. Let's realign these. And we're going to eliminate that crosswalk because they really shouldn't be crossing at this point. It's just not part of it. I'll eliminate it with uh, intersection marking tool in just a second. Or with, sorry, with uh, traffic manager. The difference is with intersection marking tool, it doesn't affect the functionality. It gets rid of the texture, but not the not the crossing from a from a mechanic standpoint. I want to remove both. Oh shoot, uh, botched it. There it is. These can all be refined. The splits are going to look real good when they're uh, when they're filled in with intersection marking tool. So these are good. This one should also be done, or as close to done as it can be. I must have already shifted these, because I, I must have. I remember doing it. I'm paranoid that I'm going to miss one, though, because I have to release this and you're all going to use it. Jonathan, welcome in. Welcome to stream. Nice, and they miss each other naturally. Admac, thanks for subscribing. Welcome in. Look at that. And they're missing each other, and the, the peds can walk across it. You love to see it. You do. They miss each other beautifully. I forgot two of them. All right, so let's fix all these darn, darn crosswalks and such. Um, those crossings are gone. These crossings need to be removed. Well, let's do these first while I'm thinking of it. I don't think that these crossings will ever be attempted by pedestrians, but I'm going to remove them functionally anyway. Already looking better. Let's get rid of that. All right, those are done. Those are on. Those are done. Let's do node controller to remove the visual element. So the yellow, or I guess everything can go away, right? Did that make anything worse to turn all of them off? Looks great. There would not be much foot traffic, but Sims love the exercise. It depends what's on this side of the highway and what's on this side of the highway. Really, like it, that's, that's what it boils down to, right? Is this marking done? If this marking is done, I'll copy it over. I think it is. I think it's okay. And I think I like what I'm seeing overall. I think this is okay. That through line looks pretty good to me. The crosswalks are in. Let's duplicate it and we'll throw it in over here. Rotate till it works. And can't see a darn thing. Don't apply. Did I not copy it? Copy. Yeah. Paste. Yep. That was weird. I've never seen that. I pasted and nothing appeared. Seems okay though, right? Just suicide crossings. Um, I mean, you only have to look one direction and it's a very short distance. So you get to see if there's a car there or not. 
and it's a very short distance. Technically, the cars have to yield to pedestrians, but I've already I've already said my position on that. As a pedestrian, I assume the worst. <laughs> I, I assume it's safer to assume they don't see you because there's a chance they don't. So don't don't assume a darn thing. Now this one will become a yield, I think. Yep, shark teeth. And these can do that. Is that reasonable? Somewhat reasonable? Unfortunately named crossing. Unfortunately named crossings is the YouTube. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. So like a like a free flowing the spot where a free flowing car situation is coming by. Yeah, I I think it's good that it's not very long. It's a short distance and traffic only comes from one direction. Those are the only redeeming qualities about it. Other than that, this is free flowing auto traffic, which is not a pedestrian friendly um something something something. It's not a it's not a super friendly it's a it's a pedestrian hostile spot potentially. Hmm. I don't know what I want out of this exactly. I guess I'm going to put it back the way it was cuz that pretty much covers what I want from it, which is nothing. It looks slightly wonky, but that's just the that's just life. Life is slightly wonky and We'll have to deal with it. <laughs> Pedestrian hostile, Murica, yeah. Kinda like that, right? Sorta kinda. Almost, except for this. Get rid of this one. That should be good. And then this one we can we can actually put in a a yield there if we want. Yeah. To yield to the pedestrians. We can only do this on one side though. Like we can't do it on this one because if we put in a yield, it'll appear back here. There's not there's not a way to make the yield on that side of the like just just the nature of how nodes work. It's just not a thing. Chevron is backwards. It totally is. Yep, good call. The chevrons look weird because there's not much space for them. But that's okay. It could be worse. The solution for this actually might be to increase the... Increase the length of the long side here. Let's see what that does in a second. Once I've copied the marking over. The marking is correct. It just looks a little wonky. So maybe the yellow side comes out a little. Yeah. Uh, 10's good. 10's great. Yes. Definitely acceptable. Definitely not worse. Is it an improvement? I don't know. Definitely not worse, though. The Chevron is shaving the car. Yeah, the, the Chevron... It sh the Chevron should be not shaving the car, specifically. Like this should the assuming the blade. Like if I were if I were shaving my face, the blade would be going kind of counter, right? <laughs> it depends which way you're moving, but I would say that it's n specifically not shaving the car, right? Because the blade is pointed the wrong way for that. This is correct. This is correct. Correct. Exactly. Yes. You want it to not shave the car. <laughs> <laughs> One of my finer metaphors. Um, I don't know. Mosh, I watched about half of that video. The city nerd living in Las Vegas video. I watched about half of it. Because it was kind of, it was more personal and less general. And I think that interests me less as a, as a viewer is the thing. It was more, like I'm just looking for, for general city planning knowledge. And less so... 
his specific stories. I don't know. I don't know. That all looks fine. I'm going to skip the U-turn lane. People can do that on their own. I'm not going to I'm not going to make the U-turn a thing. I don't think. Overall, this is looking well done, I think. I believe. You liked raised pavement for medians? Same. In your bill, thank you. Welcome in. I didn't I didn't see your uh, membership in chat for some reason, but Bill, I appreciate it. Thank you. The elevated high uh, Pistro, what's up? Crosswalks and Adeline. Uh, the U-shaped ramp in the center of the sidewalk goes all the way down to the merge. Please fix it. I don't know what you're talking about. Chevron is suppo supposed to point at cars coming towards it. Yep. Yep, that's, that's a fair way to do it. The Chevron points at cars coming towards it. But that doesn't help when it comes to uh, medians. That doesn't help when it comes to uh, like slashes on the median. I'm missing a line in the center. Oh, I'm missing a lot of lines in the center. Yeah, it's just not done yet. This is just, it's just entirely unfinished as it stands <laughs> in this moment. Oh, there's, there's a lot to do. I'm like, I want to have everything else ready because once I do this, that's the last thing. And I might go slightly insane while doing it is the thing. Because this is one of the most involved markings. It's the piece de resistance of my uh, artwork. What was it called? The Art of Intersection Marking Tool. It was the piece of the resistance. I am going to add these in, actually, on all sides. I think this will be necessary for the fillers, assuming we do some sort of filler on these. The filler might just be the, the pavement, actually. We might just extend the pavement out, potentially. These might go across. Right. Which means this one goes across. I want to make sure all the lines, all the solid lines are in before I start cutting them. Yeah, we could put yield signs on the on the crosswalks. Well, they don't these aren't like yielding crosswalks though. These are light protected crosswalks. Does that make sense? These are not they're not going to yield in the same way that these that these are supposed to. These are signalized. The markings are the most confusing part? No. The markings are fun. The markings are the most fun part. Oy. Okay. It's so gnarly. The making the lines is pretty easy. It's the cutting them down to size that's trickier. I think I've got them all in. <laughs> I think all the solid lines are in. So now the the best way I've found to do this is to just systematically go down the thing and just see, like, okay, I know this line needs to be cut, so let's just pick a side, cut it. And we'll add rule because I know there's more where it's supposed to be. And then we'll add rule because there's more where it's supposed to be. And that's that one. Next, that one doesn't need to be cut. This one does. Okay. I'm going to take the uh, the right side because that one is definitely going away. And we're going to push this back to here. Nope. We're going to push it back one more to here because that's where it actually needs to go. And there can be one more little piece, probably this here, I think. Or is it this? No, this one here is a void. So I'll throw that in. And I think that's it. I don't think this is a thing because these, these cars drive there, so. All right, next. Put islands everywhere cars aren't driving. Yep, that's kind of how this works out. I added shark teeth on the right turns after the crosswalks when copying the markings. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I'll be I'll be honest. The shark teeth. Um, there can't be shark teeth here. There can be here. Uh, Landon, welcome in. There can be shark teeth here. There can't be here. There's none necessary here because this is signalized by the traffic light. There's a traffic light here, right? Nils, welcome in. Oh, Amy, have fun. Jenny, welcome in. The second split interferes with the left turn. It does. You're right. That second little little thing. Yep. So let's get rid of that. That's okay. Dunsky. Easy. Let's do this one. This is a hard one. So I'm going to take the yellow side because I know that that's going away. So we'll grab the yellow corner and we'll bring it back to here because I know that's a thing. And there's probably one more spot where this goes. Definitely here. At the very least, definitely here. Maybe here. Nope, that interferes with the left turn. This one, I think, works, though. Yep, this it'll make a little teeny tiny island by the time it's all done. All right, moving on. Moving on, moving on. That's super cool. And that's pretty neat. And I think we got one more to go here. Oh, or is it two more? This line might not be necessary in this space, now that I see it. Because I think that's just a one-shot, one-shot Scott. Oh, no, it's not. That blocks. That's blocking the road. One-shot Scott. Yeah, th these are in the way. So these get refined back a little bit. So let me push these back, because I think I already did those lines. Or no, I haven't. I haven't. I take it back. This is fine, though. This is good. Do I feel the gentle breeze flowing? Wind God, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Jared, thank you. I'll catch you later. Thanks a lot. There is supposed to be a yield there, Dobby Dog, but I can't add lines. I can't. I, I can't put lines on that one. I can't put shark teeth there. There's not a way to do it. If I'm understanding you correctly, which I might not be. I'm 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 all kinds of trying to figure it out right now, I'll be honest. May I may I be honest with you real quick? Can I just can I just tell the truth for a second? So this can get pushed back to here easily. This is probably a thing, yeah? Nope, this is a thing. The rest of it I'm not sure. I don't I don't think any of these can be a thing, so let's not do it. After the crosswalk? Put put a yield after the crosswalk so that the cars that aren't coming from this direction... <laughs> I don't... You want me... Is this where you want me to put the yield? Because the cars are coming from here. Right? Have a good night, Helen. Thanks a lot. See the empty lines with no rules? Add a yield there. The empty lines with no rules. The empty lines with no rules. I'm I'm just going to need it stated in a way where I can parse out what the meaning is because right now I'm not quite getting it. I don't know if it's me or you. It's probably me. I just don't understand. Yields everywhere? No, this is dangerous. No, not put one. Remove the one where the turns merge or are those supposed to be there? This one? Yeah, these cars yield. They're, they're yielding to this. They're yielding to... <laughs> they're yielding to the traffic that's coming off the light. But the good news is they'll have 50% uptime where they can just... Or they'll have more than 50% uptime where they can just roll through. Does that make sense? Everyone's saying stuff and yelling stuff and like I, I can't tell if you're confused or I'm confused, but I, I imagine it's probably equal parts both. I think I'm being told to do stuff that's not possible though. That's what I suspect. Dottie, welcome in. Dottie bot. Uh, this becomes a thing. <laughs> And then, 
Oh, this becomes a thing too, I suppose. Yeah. And this one is also probably a thing. It does not make sense when turning right. The left turns have to stop. The left turns stop back here. The left turns are stopped at a stoplight, which is here. Which means that as long as they're stopped, this traffic flows freely. The second they're allowed to go, I don't want them to yield to this right turn because that's insane. They waited at the stoplight, and then they have to yield to this traffic, even though they're even though they already waited back here, which allows this traffic an abundance of time to to merge. Do you, does does that land? Does that make sense? Once again, I don't know. I'm not a I'm I'm not I'm not the road warrior or anything like that. Does that does that make sense? Yeah. Perfectly. Yes. It's a two-lane highway ramps or one lane? Um I mean it's a, it's a two-lane ramp. It doesn't matter. Like the the nomenclature of the game would say otherwise, but it's a it's a it's a two lane. It, it is a ramp on the interchange. Like these are, this is, this is not a ramp because that's the arterial. These aren't ramps because they're the, they're the highway slash freeway. These are all ramps contextually. They are all ramps connecting the interchange to itself. So functionally, right? <laughs> Nerdy side, welcome in. There it is. Two months. Thank you. I appreciate it. It'll make sense if you put some cars through. Yeah, I don't. I still don't know what you guys are talking about. Be a dotted line to let them know they're merging into a lane. Sure, I can add a dotted line. Yeah, I'd be. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. Would there be in real life? I'm not convinced that that's. I don't. I'm not convinced that that's universal. But then again, I don't know if. I don't know if all markings are universal because everywhere seems to have different markings, don't they? This side can go back to here. There might be one more. Dan, welcome in. I'm sorry the notifications aren't going off. Nerdy side, thanks again. Dan, thank you. Enjoy the emotes. Have fun. Party on. There it is. I think that's all that is. I, I don't think this exists. There it is. Dan Twombly, thank you. Hope I'm pronouncing you somewhat close. To correct. This one is a thing, I believe. Yep, sensible. And then one more. Uno mas. Nice. Single point grassland interchange. Varies on the dotted line, correct. You're from Canada and you don't drive, so loving the stream. You can, John, you can, you can imagine you're driving as I synthesize this uh, this set of roads in a video game. It's just like driving, except without any of the the driving part. So it's perfect in that way. Yeah, I just don't think that what what people are saying, like the dotted line thing, I I don't suppose I always see that on on highways. I don't think that's always a thing. This one needs to be cut. Cut down to size. Right. And one for you. And one for you. Okay. We're almost somewhere. It's so much, honestly. The spooey is, is extra. It costs extra. It takes its toll. It is extra. It's nice, though. It's extra in a good way. This is necessary. This is necessary. This is necessary. This one is also necessary. I might do these, but like cut slightly. They'll get there pretty much. It'll pretty much be fine, probably. 
You crashed twice. Oh, no. You assume nobody's coming in that lane? Oh, no. I see a yield sign. Anytime I see a yield, if there's a yield, you know that that you're about to merge in a place where you don't have the right of way, which means that you're summing up to one lane. GSC, welcome in. Uh, this would be paint. So there's not going to be a curb there. That's just that's just paint. So don't don't sweat it. Let's see. Spam the F1 key. I'm not going to do that. Cray Cray, welcome in. Thanks for being here. It's late in Berlin. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you what are you thinking? It's too late to apologize. That's what it is. I think that's I think that's the way. If memory serves, this is the way I've done it in the past. And it's like passable. This part is kind of gratuitous. Like adding the extra stuff in really isn't overly necessary, but this one would have a stop line. This would have a stop line. Well, I guess the whole thing would have a stop line, huh? Yep, this whole thing would stop. Yep, reasonable. Reasonable. And reasonable. We're almost there. Never too late for a Yumble stream? Well, I'm glad you think so. I don't even think that. I, I will often say it's too late. <laughs> JTN, thank you. Consult the, manifor the manual on uniform traffic control devices. So here's the thing, though. It's different in different countries. There's not a there's not a universal lingo or consensus on this. There are There are commonalities, but there's not a governing body of roadway markings. There's not a governing body of roadway signs, though most of the world is very sim uh, similar and the U.S. does it differently. So I don't, I don't know if I can explain that away. Uh, if I do this, it'll complicate things. I don't want to mess around with that. I guess we can do fillers and things now, right? We're in the same ballpark. What version of IMT? The current one. The current regular version. Base game doesn't have yellow lines. Yeah, correct. I've had a lot of people, it's funny, a lot of people will comment like, this game is so American. Like, oh, you Americans made such a game that's so American. It's like, yes, Except for that that whole statement, because it's it's not. <laughs> I believe it's a, a Finnish developer, right? So yes, except for that the part where you were talking. Oh, not with. I want it to be standard with. Is there a reset to default button? Yes, except for the part where it's not. You could you could make a case to say that the it encourages like North American style planning or something, but that's not really the same. It's not the same argument. What are we thinking? Just pavement here? We thinking curbs? Actually, that's not bad. Like that, that kind of satisfies both angles. Yeah. Finnish developer, Swedish publisher. You should drive on the proper side of the road. 60% of the world doesn't drive on the same side as 40% of the world. That's all I can say. That's all I can say about that. The majority drive on the right side of the road. Is that right? Is it wrong? I don't know. It's right. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's right. It's right-hand traffic. American cities have mixed zonings, just not suburbs. Right. 
Oh yeah, down downtown U.S. Yeah, there's all kinds of misconceptions. I get to hear all kinds of um, confidently incorrect statements like regularly. I read all the comments. <laughs> my sanity, for my sanity, I should probably not do that. But like, to keep an eye on what's actually going on and what what people think about things, I want to know. But yeah, it's uh, there's all kinds of misunderstanding. Here's what I want. I want to stop these at the center, I think. There is there is a, a bit of a trick to this. And then we'll connect this one to this one. And this will kind of clean everything up just a little tiny bit. Doesn't that look better if we break up the, the dashed line? So like push this one back to here and then push this one to there just to get the spacing exactly how we want it just to get so so we end up with that that's the result so there's not paint on top of the other paint it just kind of cleans up the appearance just a, a little teeny tiny bit. Yep. Okay, one more. So much to remember. That one, yeah. Yep, just looks a little nicer so they don't they don't actively cross one another. I don't want to mess with the spacing to achieve that. I just want to make them make the like vectors do it for me. Does that make sense? Oh, thanks Terry Fisher. I'm like not <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm missing a lot of comments. I'm sorry if I'm missing a lot of comments. I'm glad you think I'm keeping up. Didn't notice, but it looks better. Yeah, it's just there were lines actually overlapping in the middle, but not consistently. So this will make them consistently not overlap at the very least. From this perspective, it's a bit hard. It's a bit tough to, to make this crossing. You just have that line. Like that's your true north up there and you're in the left lane. You're like, all right, I'm ready to ready to cross this bridge. It's kind of a 50-50. It almost looks like you go into the right lane. But from above, that's about as good as, as it's going to get overall, I figure. Uh, so let's convert these to pavement. Let's get some, some pavement jams going. Let's pave them. I might round these just for reasons. Like that, I think. Yeah, it's acceptable. And let's also do a solid marking underneath because it'll make it look cooler and it'll make it super popular. It's a very popular marking. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Oh. Solid. Okay. Those are taken care of. What do we think? Need to adjust the dashed lines coming off the two turning lanes. One, two, three, four. There are four turning lanes. Um, so I don't know which ones you're talking about is the thing. I'm your true north? No, find a better true north. I'm I'm an okay tutorial maker from the internet, and I, I shouldn't be counted as more than that. Truly. I'm kind of into that, like curb it, curb it up, curb it up, <laughs> just get in there, get your hands dirty. Sorry if you hit the curb, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. How do we feel about building more angled interchanges? 
Um, I mean, it's it's doable. It's just why would I? I don't see a reason to do it for the workshop, which is what this is. If the context is we're building like a highway system and the highways meet, or the highway and the arterial meet at an angle, then yeah, I can do it. I have done it, and I will do it. But for the workshop, I want it to be kind of jack of all trades, master of none. And that's what this is essentially, is is just the the best option for the most people is going to be a, a 90 degree crossing. Or I could do like a 60 degree series or something like that. I could do a, I don't know. There, there probably is a market for more angled intersections, but I'm not sure what angle to pick <laughs> is the thing. Curbing the trapezoids near the center. Accentuate the straight line traffic. I don't know. You like to assume the emergency vehicles are curb jumping with poor granny in the back. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Need to adjust the dash lanes coming off the thing. Have I seen the video from City Nerd roasting big interchanges? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, I made the bike, the bike, uh, I made the bike stack video not long, like the day after watching that. I already knew I wanted to make a bike stack video, but that kind of made me really want to actually finish it and get it done. Now, here's the next thing. W would it be cool? What am I talking about? Of course it would be cool. Let's do it. Watch this. This is just going to be, uh, this is just going to be paved. Straight up pavement. Oh, I don't like that. So the corner radius is going to go back down to zero. I think that is a is a reasonable course of action, yeah? So let's just do it. These are just going to be big, giant curb. Oop, 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 I forgot. We have to draw this line, otherwise it doesn't work. Curb, 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 curb. Sweet. I can't think of anything else offhand. Looks pretty good. No, allow U-turns. Ryan, I already said no. <laughs> I mean, you can allow U-turns. When you when you put this in your city, you can modify this to allow U-turns. At this point, it's going to take an insane amount of work to do it, though. I mean, functionally, it's it's really easy. Functionally, it would just be that. But it, it adds so much extra work to the marking. I really don't want to do it. Later, Theodore. Thank you. Yeah, I think it looks good. The orange circles for IMT. Oh, what are you talking about? The uh, jersey. It works even if you hide the lines. Yes. Ryan, thanks. I appreciate it. I've been developing this style for a couple of years. It looks like city skylines, but that's kind of the style. <laughs> that is the style. So the alignment of these, there's always going to be something slightly misaligned. This favors the left turning traffic, like that left turn lane gets a gets a nice straight line off the right side, which is cool, and then it turns away. At the cost of the through traffic has a bit of a zigzag, but there's always going to be a bit of a zigzag is the thing. Alternatively... Should we do it without the zigzag? There's always going to be zigzag somewhere. We're just moving the zigzag to this. The solid line is kind of nice. It's nice that it's straight, though, honestly. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to do it, because if I do that, I have to rework it. Van Gogh, what's up? Silent Steam Workshop subscriber here. There you go. Go crazy. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't owe me uh, comments or anything. It's not like that. <laughs> Thank you. Silent away. You like to zig while others zag. Yeah. Don't tell me how to live. Looks fine as it is. I think so, too. Is it better to have straight and left traffic go together on each side or to have a phase for bi-directional? Daniel, that is, the, that is the best question. It's better to have the left turns go at the same time. But it's not possible because the game reads this 
Traffic Manager reads this as all straight through. There's no way to add the left turns because the game sees this as one unit. And as we learned from, there's a couple of my videos where this has applied, but this all has to be treated as all red or all green. There is no way to distinguish this left turn from straight through traffic because it thinks it's all the same. It's okay, it'll still work because this traffic is only allowed to go left, this traffic is only allowed to go straight. The game doesn't read this as a left turn though, it reads that as straight because the angle is so slight that it just does what it does. And that's just how it is. So the way, the way you can think of this is at a certain angle, let's use ramp for this, at a certain angle, it will think that it's straight. So that still thinks that that's a straight, a straight shot there. Oh, I was very close. Whatever angle that is, is where it becomes a turn. So now the game, that's a steep enough angle that the game recognizes that as a curve. Imperceptibly, if I move that to the left, like there's a magic pixel there where I'm right in between right now. I'm right, I'm right there. So it has to be a certain angle. And this doesn't really give me a good way to, to make this. Like, maybe if I use move it and, and kind of do something with it, but this gets awkward, the texture gets awkward. So this is going to read as straight through no matter what. It looks like 30 degrees. It's probably 30 degrees, yeah. So here's a good test. I can use precision engineering and kind of... So here's 30 degrees. At 30 degrees, it still reads it as straight. Clearly, I, I, well, let's see, at 30, 30 and a little, it reads it as a right turn. So that was less than 31. So 30 is the cutoff. If I make this exactly 30 degrees, get out of town, Charlie Brown. What? Let me get away from the, uh, f let me get away from all the things. 30 degrees even. 30 degrees exactly, it reads it as straight through. It was snapping to something else there. But now it's 30 degrees. That is 30 pure degrees. If it is 30.0000001 degrees, the game knows that it's a turn. Does that make sense? Thank you, Cuboid. You're really cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I always look slightly green when I'm streaming because of the because of the game that I play and how grassy it is. Look how green it is. But yeah, does that make sense? I think it kind of makes sense. Oh, these need markings. Shoot, I almost forgot. Oh, and yields. Here, before I forget, let's do the yields because this... Oh. Okay. Shoot. How do I tell which is which? Ugh. We have to do something stupid like that. I think this is the only way that this is going to work. And then I'll have to obviously put that back. Okay. So that's the yield. And then I undo this. But that's going to change all my node controller stuff. Because that's how it works. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it put the node back where it came from. Q, did you have to build that in? Because it didn't used to do that. Undoing is a true undo now. It actually undoes and puts the node controller settings. Because it used to retain, it used to kind of retain the angle of the node. So it would be like one would be a weird diagonal or something. That's crazy. No need for yields due to the one side at a time. This is free flowing. This is free flowing. Uh, so there, you do need a yield. Because this is random arrival. This could arrive at any time. If there are cars coming this way and there's not enough traffic here to stop the traffic here, they will come. And if there's no yield, they would hit here. So there there are yields. There definitely are yields. There have to be. Yeah, no, the, the yields have to be. They must be. Once again, I can't tell which is which. Since you can fully undo move it, try to get that 30.1 on the left turn. <sighs> Paestro, that's an interesting idea. 
Let me do this first before I forget. Let's let me test that again. I don't know if Q heard what I said. It was a compliment though. Using vanilla assets? Uh yes, except for the four plus two road. The four plus two road is in the workshop. Uh yield, 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 yield. And then we undo. And it puts the node controller back. It totally does. Oh. Everyone drives Teslas in Yumbleville. Yeah, I mean, they're not infallible. <laughs> not infallible. The orange circle IMP, they don't they don't line up with the dashed lanes. Are you talking about You're talking about this one? Good call. I did I saw that earlier and then I kind of dismissed it cuz there was so much other stuff to do. The rest look pretty good to me. Like, that's close enough. That's close enough. Good call. Good call. Acceptable. I got it. <laughs> uh, wouldn't you want to yield a little further to aid the visibility? Uh, I mean, they see it. They get to here. They yield. I mean, you'd, you'd look left. If, if you look left, you see everything. Like, you'd, you'd have to physically... So not as far as a checking your blind spot. I don't think they would be in the blind spot, but from here, they'd be checking left. Here, let me let me change this angle and see if we can get these arrows to turn left or see how far we have to go. Before they turn left. It's really, really far. I don't see it. I don't see it happening. The node controller went back to... Oh, it didn't. Dang, I got lucky on the other one, I think. But it's okay. This is this is really easy. That's all. Very easy to reset. Yeah, so that is not going to... You know what it is? It's the angle coming off of this. Oh, this got messed up too. I think I did these up to 10, right? Oh, this side probably got messed up as well. Let's set up all the uh, all these jams here. Nope, nope, not like that. <laughs> That's the one. That's the jams. Now this one, I don't know if these will follow highway splitting and merging rules, so I'm going to ensure by doing that Obviously, these just merge. That's just how it is. This obviously splits. Everything else should be handled by splitting and merging rules, but let's let's not leave room for error. Nope. Nope. Good try. Good try. But yeah, I tried, right? Perlane is in the I think maybe a beta version. Or no, it's in it's in a fork of traffic manager there is a fork that exists where you can control the turn you can control the light per lane rather than per lane arrow this caused a lot of confusion on my the video that was like what's what's bigger than a roundabout but smaller than or was it a roundabout what's what has more capacity than a roundabout but less capacity than an interchange in that uncanny valley that's what it's called the uncanny valley video um a lot of people were like no, you can you can control the lights independently. You can control the you can't in that situation with a continuous flow intersection, you cannot control per lane. It is per direction. When you when you add a traffic light, it is per lane. Uh, excuse me, it is per direction, not per lane. But I do desperately wish that I could control per lane. I think that's it. I think that's all I got on this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. These shoot. Dang it. I keep thinking I'm done and I'm just not Keep it, keep getting pulled back in. For this one, should I do three lane road and then just have a, have a departing lane that just departs? Let's do that actually. I think this is the way to go. 
like just do three lane road here and then just have it do double duty because it's a service interchange shift that out uh, make this small flatten them out yellow can go up to 20 maybe 30 probably 30 so it'll be a bit of a shared nope good try Like that. I think that's pretty standard on, on service interchanges that are for getting on and off the highway, right? Train signaling would be cool. Ooh, that would be amazing. Yield by lane would be even better. Yield by lane would be fantastic. And that seems even more doable somehow. Ooh, Lonely Aussie. I use so many different... Um, I have so many different networks that I use that I don't have any presets really. I do have presets, but I'm not I'm not comfortable releasing them because they're all so situational. The second you use a different network, it's a different preset, right? It's just yeah. Um, somebody said something, Anthony. You might have already said this. I apologize. Why the merge down to one lane from the ramps? Why not keep it two lanes, then change the interstate to two lanes? You mean this? Just so they merge before they hit the highway? Is that what you're asking? You you can train control. You can do signals. You can do train like traffic lights. Because I think train just always gets priority over vehicles. That's not the marking. Wait, what? I don't usually do it this way. So that's why I'm perplexed. There it is. That's the one. Unless you traffic manager. Or why not keep it three lanes, set the interstate down to one lane? I'm not going to do that. Dottie, you know why. You're being sarcastic. You're, be you're being snarky. I know. I understand. I know what's happening. I don't know everything, but I know what's happening here. I can read a room. So I'm going to adjust all of these because the oops, the texture on the three-lane highway is so seriously misaligned. Trains don't know which one can get priority over the train. Yeah, I don't really know. I've never tried to signalize a train in-game. It's not really my forte. I think that's a fine glass of wine. I think that's a tall drink of water. Right there. Chevrons. I'll put the step up to like six, because six is a good amount. Yep. Looking good. Copy that. We'll come over here and we'll figure it out <laughs> on this one. Oh, I wonder, did I delete the end node? I did. Good. Wow. Good good memory, me. Adjust this out. All right, this goes up to 30. We paste in the markings, which should take like a second. Noise. All right, two for four. Tall drink of water, Griff Lion. Wow, such flattery. Flattery will get you everywhere. Such flatter, much wow. Uh, if the train paths clash, the trains yield to whoever goes first, yeah. That's probably true. I would bet that that's accurate if I had to guess. All right, let's realign these. And these are like close, but no cigar. These are not even close. Just these external lines, the the texture. They the dev did not think that we would be able to see the the paths. Like interchange marking tool or intersection marking tool just shows the paths so readily. Where that's not information you can get in the vanilla game. Like where the paths are going, you just kind of infer it based on where the cars are. But with intersection marking tool, we can actually see 
the the baked in limits of the lane. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Cool. It exposes the 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 texture, like where the where the texture actually stops. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely. Now these are a bit a bit of a different thing. Sure. Is there more to it than that? Would I want to do that? I don't know. Not really. There can kind of be an empty space of ambigu ambiguity while everybody goes into the funnel. Like clearly, this side is the is the where the lane is actually aligned. Uh, but there's going to be a moment here where these cars are like, you know, they're kind of zippering. They're kind of like, they're kind of looking at the car in front of them, aligning their bumper hopefully as they go down this ramp at 60 miles per hour. So that's fine. That's just how it is. Sometimes you got a zipper. Wouldn't that be a yield? Uh, no, it's a merge. But you also can't yield per lane. So if I did add a yield, which I don't even know if you can, it's a it's a yield. It's a everybody's yielding, but nobody's yielding. It doesn't matter. It's a merge. Fine dotted line. Not from not. I've never seen that in person. We've we've uh, talked about this a little bit tonight. How road markings are different in different places. I. I don't really see that generally. It just says uh, right lane ends. It'll just say something to the effect of right lane ends on here. And then you zipper merge. And eventually the line stops and the two roads kind of become one. At least in Canada, right? Canadians out here telling me. <laughs> telling me how their markings work. And I agree. I, I mean, I'm not going to disagree. You're probably right. But um, I've just never observed that. So I'm not really partial to it it would be dotted in ohio really well here let's um one second one second highway highway merge marking images Gov.uk shows a shows a finer dotted line. This one showed like one kind of consistent line, but I don't think that's the point of this illustration. That's just the the ramp is the point where it just merges with the road. Like Delaware here, there's no I see nothing there for Delaware. Is it this? I guess maybe it's that fine dotted line that these these are all familiar to me lane ends merge right lane ends lane lane ends merge left do it now lane ends you're dead and then is that the fine dotted line i have no memory of this place australia is hip australia has the fine dotted line that's how it is in virginia well i live in virginia what So that's a split, it looks like. Or, well, I guess it could be a merge. This one kind of does it. Half mile minimum. The fine dotted line into the into the split physical gore with the chevrons. I don't know. Hmm. Virginia goes county by county. <laughs> Ravenous Joe, yeah, I've definitely looked at more roads. And, I mean, I, I understand what what everyone's saying is this max FX? I bet it is. Oh, it's just intersection marking tool. It's just straight up IMT. Nice. Yeah, that's glorious. Very, very pretty. That's IMT again. I'm looking for like highway regulatory information. I don't know. I don't I don't feel it in my I don't feel it in my guts. I don't feel like 
uh, what, what we're talking about, so everyone knows, is a fine dotted line that apparently appears here. I saw a bunch where it disappears at the end. So maybe this would be where the fine dotted line goes. But I don't have a way to get rid of the texture on this road. But I do believe that there's always a spot at the end where it opens up. That's familiar to me is like an empty space in the pavement where you're like, where you're looking at the person to your left's bumper and you're like, okay, this is my spot. I'm kind of occupying and hoping the car in my blind spot kind of gives me a little space and we zipper. Does that make sense? Maybe just try it and see how you feel. I don't, I don't, I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. I think it, I think it feels wrong. I don't know. It looks noodly to me. That that's got a noodle to it, and it's looking noodly and a little and a little and a little something. So we're gonna get rid of it. It made me feel weird. I'll be honest. I knew it would make me feel a little weird. I'm not gonna do it. I can't. I can't. That's Ohio markings there. That's Ohio. Mar David, are you are you Ohio? Are you Ohioan? That's how it is in Sweden. Looked sus. It made me feel weird. I don't know. I saw it and I was like, well, it was. Yeah, I know. Not anymore. Yeah. Ontario has good graphics of the of the line not disappearing. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'm looking for highway ramps. I'm thinking highway interchange ramps is what I'm trying to model here. But it all looks pretty good to me. I do think that this would look better if I kind of rock and rolled a little harder on the maybe this yeah 20 on the red side ho oh. ho would that make me feel different about the line i don't know i don't know i'm not I, i'm not into the dashed i keep saying dotted but dashed is what it actually is right can you post links here i don't know i can't stop you i suppose uh it might not let you honestly like youtube might might not be into that are these not sloped Finishing touches, everybody. Finishing touches. I think they should be. Oh, they are not. What? Wow. That would have been an, an L in my book if I missed that. That's worth getting. As smooth as possible is what we want out of this. And as long as this is high enough that there are not lamps poking through. Where are the lamps? Oh, the lamps are over here now. I was looking in the wrong place. I was looking over here because that's what that's where it feels like they should be. In retrospect, that's the middle of the road, so I guess I guess this makes more sense. Oh, there it is. Do you see that little that little pixel right there? That's what I'm looking at. There it is. Now it's gone. Absolutely perfect. Implausibly perfect. Oh yeah. By a little bit of uh, reduction in grade, just a little teeny tiny bit. But I'll take it every time. I'll take that every single time. Oh, yeah. I mean, it ain't much, but it's honest work, right? I'm declaring that to be honest work. I'm taking it. Mm. Feels good. It's going to save a lot of gas. Let's put it that way. A lot of gas has been saved. I'm just checking the alignment of that. Cool. That's like, that's all I can even think to do to this darn thing. How does that make you feel? Make you feel kind of weird, or is it okay? Stretch the nodes under the bridge and move them? Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. We are going to marvel at how the textures underneath don't exist, but... No, I think this is I think this is quite how it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's good. So you get two left turn lanes on all sides, and also two through lanes, and a single right turn lane on all sides, but that's life. Double check all of these. Mm -hmm. 
just so there's... Oh! Sorry, one second. Assuming that people turn on highway splitting and merging rules might be assuming too much, so I'm going to ensure that the rules are followed by uh, doing it like that. The yields are in place. You can't tell, but it's this road that's yielding. <laughs> I think we got it. You still think there should be... Li are we still talking about this? There should be dash lines where the right one's merging? One second. Highway merge road markings. So not the sign. It thinks I'm looking for the sign. Like, I know all these signs. I don't know that one. That's actually 2027. <laughs> We're not there yet. That's not familiar to me. But all these other ones are pretty familiar. Uh, Like, this seems pretty typical to me where it's, like, open and there's not a dashed line. And remember, this is highway we're talking about. We're not talking about... This is so, like, pedantic to even worry about. But we're not... We're talking about highway specifically. Let's see. How to merge. How to zipper merge. I wonder what this picture is denoting exactly. So this one does have a little teeny line for one car length before the end. Which is a bit weird. They should have used, They should have used node controller on this, I think. Just where the right turn merges into the two lanes. Just where the right turn merges into the two lanes. Right turn merges into the two lanes. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm imagining something, but I don't know if it's right. How to freeway merge. That guy knows. He's had his, he's had his share of time merging. He knows what to do. This is the question. RACQ merging road rules Facebook quiz confuses drivers in Australia. It's confusing me. I'm in the way. I mean, let me get out of the way. But you can understand my confusion, right? Where like... A is... My heart says A. My heart says there's nothing there and you just merge in the nothing. The nothingness is your last chance to merge. Whereas RACQ says... Hey, there's a little there's a little dotted line there, and that's what you get, and that's how it is. US doesn't have it, EU does have the line. Is that what it boils down to? Because we don't have that here. Like I'm I'm Terry, thank you. That's all it takes. Terry voted A, and this is a democracy after all, so I've That's enough for me. <laughs> that's a that that's plenty for me to go, okay, apparently. I like how it looks. I want to try it out. <laughs> a 100% there we go at this point I think A just means get on with our lives because because the dotted line makes me feel weird the little dots scare me RACQ is your state oh you have both A or B they mean different things what do they mean well never I don't want to know I take it all back I'm usually into knowing things that's not my thing anymore I'm not I'm not into knowing things anymore I'm into not knowing things. Everyone say cheese. This is for the uh, this is for the homies. For the homies out there on the Steam Workshop, yourselves included, yourselves exclusively, except not exclusively, yourselves inclusively. I think that's what I want, right? This is the picture. Pretend I'm not there. I won't be there. <laughs> it would be funny if I was in the pictures, but I I won't be. Right? What is this one? This is the thumb shot tool. Thumb shot? Thumb shot. 
That's the snapshot, that's the thumb shot, and that's the info shot. Wow. Shots, 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 shots. I think that's the good angle. Got it. Ignorance is bliss? Exactly. Let's get on with our lives. Ramble on. Save asset. Let's go. Solid thumb. A. Thank you. Two, two thumbs way up. <laughs> um, what should this be called? I guess it's it's kind of a high capacity spooey. Is that an okay name for it? Because it's got two left turns at all angles. Ooh, that's a beautiful one. That came out great. Yeah, I'm happy with the with the pictures. Those are good pictures. Yeah, I want to test it. Absolutely. High capacity spooey. Because I my other one that I did is is one turn lane and one through lane. This is two turn lanes and two through lanes. So I'm gonna call that a high capacity spooey for all the for all the homies. High capacity spooey. Spooey extreme. Spooey excessive. Too much spooey. More spooey than anyone actually wants. High capacity spooey. I think that's it. I think that's it, right? Spooey plus plus. Double 35 degree spooey next for the better traffic light. Maybe, but I don't have a good way to do that is the thing. Because the textures will get all messed up. It'll be a real messy thing. Ludicrous amounts of spooey. Too much. We really put the... We, we put the... What was it? The PU in the spooey on this one, didn't we? High capacity spooey. Save. Save. It's going to take a minute to save because it has to, like, put all the pictures together or whatever. Spooey Royale. Spooey with cheese. How's that sound? Pretty good, right? Spooey with cheese. Have I seen the new work they're doing at Bryan Park in Richmond? No, I haven't. I haven't been to Richmond in a few years, though. I'm in Northern Virginia, so I'm pretty distant from Richmond. <laughs> and honey. Link to Custom Road. There will be... Yeah, it's it's by Silas. C-Y-L-I-S. 2 plus 4 Silas will bring us... Will, oh, it's still saving. I'm going to hit Load Asset just to see. Just to make sure it exists. In theory, it finished saving, but I should see it in the loading list. Come to think of it, I've never not seen it in the loading list, so this is kind of a probably a fruitless thing, but hey, there it is. Last modified. I do have 2,000 assets, so. High capacity spooey in the house. Bike stack in the house. Parklow Plus, unfinished, also in the house. Ooh, my grass changed between then and now. It's kind of, kind of lime looking grass, but that's okay. That's life. Spooey con carne. Yeah, I think that looks good. So we're going to quit to desktop for a Shrekend. So that's pretty neat. We're going to test it out first, and I'm going to set it up with a traffic light on the interchange test map. And we're going to make sure everything's okay before we put it in the workshop. So stand by for testing. Testing inbound. Testing imminent. I'm just reloading the game. It'll just take a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volk, there's new emojis. I might have space for a couple more. And I have emojis from my Twitch days, so I'm, like, transferring them all to YouTube. As we get members, we get more emojis, so that's how that works. Community in Sweden doesn't do food delivery. Oh, not at 3 a.m. I'm sorry, Helen. Test phase commences. I think it'll work fine. I th I'm not really, like, I'm not sweating the test too much. I do have an example map that would work perfect here. The... Interchange, test, service, interchange. Interchange, test, service, interchange, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom and then we'll set this up and watch it run. Behave yourselves.
Oh, goodness. This is looking a bit ominous, isn't it? Missing assets? Just the DDI, right? There shouldn't have been much missing. Oh, God. Repaint. <sighs> it's weird that the visuals are different between... Um, between the asset editor and the actual map itself. Oops. These should all be about the same before I do this. Eh, it doesn't matter. Good enough. Oh. Oh. So we're going to get rid of that. I wonder if I already set up traffic manager on this one, too. This is like the... Um... Oh, nice. It is set up. Cool. Except for highway-specific merging splitting rules, that was not set up. But everything else should be pretty good. Yeah, good job, me. Cool. <laughs> All right, where's the spooey? The new one? This one. High capacity spooey. So what I'm going to do now is measure. Measure it from end to end. Oh, no. So this is the one hazard with putting nodes directly over one another. Sometimes they do this. Dang. Seems hard to drive on, huh? Welcome in, Kelder. Dark Newt, I am back. Yeah. I mean, that means back to the editor, which kind of sucks. How about this? How about as a consolation prize? I don't really want to open up the editor again. I do want to finish this, but not, not at the cost of the time it'll take to do it. Let's get our measurements and let's just, let's just live life. Let's live and laugh and love all at once. All together now. Uh, from the middle, 34 units. Okay. Let's measure this out. I said 34, right? 34, that's right here. On this side, 34, 34. Okie dokie. Let's just do it. Do it, spoo it. Oh, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> Can I even click that? Okay. So markings aside, this should be basically the same, just without markings, which isn't that bad. Like, it's fine. The nodes got a little messed up too, but that's okay. We can test it in principle. That's at this point, that's all I have. Where are you going? Two plus four, you're right. Two plus four. Two plus four. Let me fix that road that goes to nowhere. Or hopefully it goes to nowhere. It goes to nowhere at best. Mm. 
There's still something down there. I don't think I can click on it. It might be this. It might just be that. Yeah, that was it. There's nothing else there. That's normal. That's what pillars do. All right, we're thriving. It's cool. It's cool. Some anomalous behavior, but what are you going to do? That's why it's called an anomaly. Because you can't explain it, and it's weird, and it's whack, and it breaks your game. Speaking of which, enjoy the video tomorrow. Video about uh, how mods break your game. No, about how to solve potential mod conflicts after the recent update. Because I still see people flooding into Reddit having problems. So I made a video about kind of the current climate surrounding mods and city skylines and kind of how, uh, what it might look like to have a working mod list and a couple different options, a couple different collections that I recommend. One of them is mine. It's linked in the description currently. The other one is someone else's. Not linked in the description currently. Did we basically get it? Kinda, sorta, pretty much? Like, I guess with this one I'd want it kind of extended. Ooh. Like on the red side I'd want it out to 30. Bit of an unfortunate twist here. That it had to be this way. 30. Well, there it is. Kill it with move it. Yeah, I'm going to kill it with something. I'm going to kill it with kindness, primarily. All right. This should this should work okay. It should be fine. So we're going we're gonna to delete this. This side needs the same treatment. Welcome home. Hello. Oh, it's weird that these are elevated. Can we get them on the ground? So we'll see people turning in a second, I think. Nope. I just want to make sure that these all kind of obey what we want. So it at least kind of makes sense. I might have to reinstate the yield, which is actually going to be kind of hard. Oh, nope. The yields are... Still there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put the light in in just a second. The light is the interesting part. The rest of this is just... That's just how it is. One of these is supposed to be shifted, but I'm not going to take the time to do it. And this whole thing can be fixed pretty easy. There it is. That's essentially it. That's what it is. Interchange spider that gets killed with fire. No. <laughs> All right, I think we got it. I'm going to turn on allow them to enter blocked junction on all of these. That's something that I should have done before leaving is it, at the very least, these can all enter the blocked junction if they want to. All of these, uh, this whole side can enter the blocked junction. And probably these, though I'm not sure. This node is still wacky. Fifteen is what I went for there, so maybe fifteen here as well, just so it looks the same. That's basically it. It destroyed the 
all the nice work I did on, on those markings, but that's fine. I can, I can edit the asset and fix it and it'll go in the workshop all the same. Uh, for those of you who want to run it like this, you can. You could just throw in yields here. I guess yields on all sides, probably. Not stops. But yields on all sides and hope for the best. It could work. Like in city skylines, it'll work fine. But how do the pedestrian crossings work? They cross, they cross, they cross, they cross. In this case, it's all free-flowing. The pedestrians are hung out to dry entirely. Good luck, have fun, stay safe out there. Yeah. All right, set up time to traffic light. Let's do it. Add step. Step one, let's do like five to 25 seconds. If there's more waiting than driving, 0.3. And we'll do the left turns go first. Add. And then this is a three phase light. In this case, we'll do one side. Add. And then the other side. Add. Start. And that is it. So we should see that working pretty much totally fine and realistic enough. The left turns could probably be faster here because they are dramatically slower currently. But yeah, in principle, that's that's what it is. Hmm. That node's a bit of a bit of a problem there. They do favor the right lane overall, and they are sharing that right turn with it. Oh, now they don't. I guess we'll see. We'll see how this adjusts over time. But the lane usage is okay right now. They're, they're stacking up well on all sides. Stacking up well there. That's exactly how that's supposed to look. I don't like the slowdown for the left turning traffic. That's a, a little unfortunate because they should be speeding up and they have right of way. So maybe they're just going 35, which is the same as the road they're coming off. So maybe it's 35s all the way around for that. I'll add a mental note that that's the case. Yeah, lots of through traffic, way more through traffic than left turning traffic in this case. And that's what I think makes a difference. That's the the better scenario, if you're going to use a spooey, if you're going to use a single point urban interchange, this is better than a di diverging diamond if you have lots of traffic going across on the arterial. So if you have a lot of traffic that wants to get from one side of the highway to the other, this is a better option than a diverging diamond. Pedestrians? Pe all, all of our pedestrians drive cars here. That's the thing. We walk out to our cars. And then we become motorists. <laughs> the conversion is very is very quick. It's a very quick conversion. But yeah, all sides are clearing very, very quickly. Like it's just, it, it backs up for a second. Everybody goes. Then it'll stop. This side will stop and that side will get to go probably. Yeah. It'll go until it's clear. Then the left turns will go. Ideally, you would have left turning traffic go at the same time, but as I, I illustrated it earlier, if you, um, you'll have to rewatch this and rewind it to see it, some of you, but usually I would have the left turns go at the same time, but it's not feasible with this angle. I don't have a favorable road angle to make that happen. Yeah, we're both through mo movements occur. I agree, yeah. Because there's so much through movement that it makes sense to have that be the longer, like, kind of dominant phase. Because the left turning traffic is super minimal. Like, right now we've got one car, two cars waiting to turn left onto the highway, and, like, four cars turning off the highway. So, so yeah, consolidating the through traffic would make, would make tons of sense, actually. Why is the right turn not a dedicated lane? Um... I don't see that it needs to be anywhere. I don't see any real need for that. Because the right turn is going to clear as soon as this is allowed through. As soon as this light turns green. 
On this side, it is a dedicated lane. But yeah, if there if there was massive right turning traffic, if that were a concern, I would I would um, accommodate. So in your in your city, if you have lots of right turning traffic and you need a dedicated turn lane, go crazy. I don't see. I don't see that. I mean, it's not backing up at all. Occasionally, it blocking doesn't really isn't really grounds um, to like to worry about it in my opinion. Like to invest in in infrastructure to widen the road to accommodate because the right turns have to stop sometimes doesn't really track for me. Like maybe one or two of these vehicles are about to turn right. One. <laughs> so that one car had to stop for an extra moment. That other car slipped right through. Here, maybe there's three cars waiting to turn right. Zero. One, apparently. Unless that was a left turn, I didn't notice. It's all going very fast. But yeah, if, if the right turn were overwhelming, yeah, I would I would look into that. The right turn would not be so close to the light. Um, yeah, I don't know. This could be adjusted in a million ways to to make it. You could have a wider right turn, or or create a departure like earlier, or any number of thing. But like compared to a real, here let's uh, let's take a second. Make sure I'm on the right channel here. Let's compare that to uh, to a real a real example. One second. <laughs> You'll see what I see in just a second. So right here, this is what I'm mimicking. This is what I'm really going for. This one is a same idea, the spooey where I'm I'm trying to use city skylines controls. It's not working. Um, but yeah, this is this is the exact concept. I don't think it's wildly different. How do I measure? How do you uh, does anyone know how to measure in Google Maps? I know that there's a way to like I've seen. Maybe it's Earth. Maybe it's only in, in Google Earth. That one has a dedicated right turn lane. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not really talking about the right turn. <laughs> Does it though? I guess it has. It has this right turn lane that turns into a right turn lane there. This side certainly the the merge is is mathed out. Yeah, I guess this is five lanes across. Oh, uh, what I was checking for was the distance, but I don't have a way to measure it. Like, where does the... I guess the turn begins back here somewhere. But the but the, the node, if you can call it that... Right-click? Wait, for real? Hold on a second. No, I don't, I don't see a... Uh, Yeah, I don't see any way to measure. Measure distance at the bottom? Where specifically? Right click in the pop-up box, measure distance. Oh. Can I move this? So the distance from, I suppose, here about? Would you say that this is about where the node is, if you had to guess? So that is 99 meters, right? Are we, are we with it? 99 meters. This one is 96 meters. So it's actually very similar in that way, right? Like that's actually very, very close. Assuming we're measuring from the spot where the lane departs to the center of the thing. And assuming I did an okay job with, with doing that. Which I think I was very close. Would you say that's the center and that's about where the node is? So I'd say that I measurement wise, it's it's right on or like scale wise is what I'm trying to say. Scale wise, it's like right on the money, right? As far as having that an extra departing lane, that starts all the way back at the last intersection on both sides. 
The problem with that in City Skylines terms is that you need a three plus seven intersection, a three, three plus, three plus seven, a three plus four road, which is very rare and awkward. I have one. It's just very awkward. Like four plus three comes in the suburban pack. It has, you're locked into one of a few different roads. It can be the suburban road or it can be, uh, there's a big urban version of that, I believe this one so there Hockenheim is the only one that I've noticed that makes such a network and then you just end up converting this and that becomes a turn lane which is fine I just I just don't see the like demand for it in the previous example I there probably is demand for right turning traffic because that was a, the intersection between 28 and something else I forget the crossroad it's next to a Walmart but yeah, the scale is on. I think the scale of the of all the ramps and things is right where it needs to be. Three lanes with dedicated right turn. Yeah, yeah. It's just the if there's occasional need where there's maybe one, yep, maybe one one or two cars turning every every platoon. Um, no discernible backup is what that really tells me. But the scale is good. The distance that this departs. Um, the scale between this space and this space, like that is a good, a well guessed. <laughs> I, I wish I could say I measured it, but I like didn't. You could do four plus four and pave off the one lane. Yeah. Does four plus four come with the game now? I don't think it does. I wish it did. I just don't think it does. Three plus three is still the most last time I checked. But I guess we are already using a, a two plus four. using a two plus four um, custom road to get this done because really lane math wise it do, the left turns do benefit the left turns get very very fast and one day uh one day what's it called we will be able to control left turning lights independently it's just that this or sorry control lights by lane i believe it will be a feature at some point i believe it will be a thing Oh, I wish this had actual, I wish that had, um, I could copy the markings from before. It looks weird because one side still has its texture, I think. No, it just looks like that. That's just how it is. One side has a, has a point to it and the other three, all the other one, two, three, four, five came together correctly. But yeah, that's what it is in principle. That's how it runs in City Skylines. That's what it looks like. Um, I hope to have this in the workshop probably tomorrow, I think. Maybe tomorrow night. But yeah, that's all I got. Everyone, I appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for uh, helping me create this. Thanks for your input. I didn't take all of it, but I did take some of it. And for that, I am grateful. And we learned a lot and we talked a lot. And there was some yelling and some shouting and maybe a little crying um, when I went away. It was me. It was me. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Um, new video tomorrow. New video about mods in City Skylines. After the last update, the mod landscape changed completely, and I made a video to reflect that and help people get their game working again because all of the mods we take for granted now break your game. So expect that tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everyone, thanks for the support. Thanks for hanging out. Drachma, appreciate it. David M., I'll catch you next time. Thumbs up. <laughs> How do I go about fixing the issue with the placement? Um, delete it and draw it again. I'll fix it in the asset editor. That's all I got. That's it. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. I'll stream again on Monday, probably. See you in the Discord in the meantime. Will you be there? See you in the Discord. Feel free to subscribe here, too. I'll be back in a few days. New video tomorrow. That's it. All right. Good night.